Uh, Jax, this ice cream is so delicious, bro. Yeah, it sure is, speaker man. Well, dude, what do you want to do after this? Huh, how about we go back to your house and play some video games? Play some video games in my house, huh? Dude, honestly, that's a great idea. Well, I literally just finished my ice cream, so let's get going, dude. Wait a second, are you speaker man? Uh, hold on, who in the heck are you? My name is Ragatha, and I have the biggest crush on you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm meeting you right now. Wait a second, Ragatha, what are you doing here? I thought you were at the Amazing Digital Circus. Well, I heard that speaker man was here, so I came to see him. Wait, wait, you literally came from the amazing digital circus just to see me yes i have a huge crush on you uh Jax, this is weird dude yeah this is pretty weird ragatha how do you have a crush on him well pomni's told me all about him wait what pomni told you about me oh my gosh yeah she said so many good things about you so i was wondering if you could go on a date with me hold on you want me to go on a date with you yep i sure do oh uh, well ragatha Jax and i were literally about to head back to my house to play some video games so i don't think we can go on a date i'm sorry wait what you can't go on a date oh my gosh well speaker man what can i do to get you to go on a date with me. Well, not really anything right now because Jax and I are literally about to head home. But please, just go on a date with me. That's all I ask. Ragtha, I can't right now. Sorry, dude. Well, Jax, let's head back to my house. All right, yeah, good idea. Ha, huh, speaker man, I'll get you to go on a date with me. Trust me. Okay, yeah, whatever you say, Raggy, ha. Huh? Well, Jax, let's head back to my house. All right, let's go. Kid, Jax, we're at my house, so let's go upstairs, bro. And let's start playing these video games. Yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. Yeah, sure, so let's sit on the couch and huh? Do you want to play this piggy video game? Nah, let's play a different one. All right, yeah, let's see what other ones are on. Oh, wait a second. How about we play the weightlifting video game? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much fun, Speaker Man. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do this, bro. Knock, knock, knock. Speaker Man, are you home? Wait a second. Who the heck is right at my door? We're literally about to play video games. Who interrupted us? Oh, wait a second. Raggy Dude? Is that you? Uh, my name's not Raggy Dude. My name is Ragatha. Oh, Ragatha. Okay, yeah. Well, what do you want, Ragatha? Speaker Man, it's literally Ragatha. And I want you to go on a date with me. See, I literally brought you some flowers. Oh, yeah, you did. Uh, thanks a lot, Ragatha. Well, I'm kind of allergic to those flowers, so I can't really accept them. Wait, what? You're allergic? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm sorry about that. <sighs> I can't believe it. Well, will you go on a date with me? No, Ragatha. I'm not going to go on a date with you right now. Please stop bugging me. Jackson and I are literally just trying to play some video games, and you have a huge crush on me. Yeah, I do, and I'll do anything for you to go on a date with me. I'll be right back. Wait, what? You'll be right back? Oh, my gosh. Ragatha, please don't come back. Okay, well, Jax. Dude, Ragatha just came out the front door. She had some flowers, and she really has a humongous crush on me. And she wants to go on a date with me, dude. Oh my gosh, dude, I can't believe it. Ragatha is literally such a sim. Well, come on, let's just play our video games now. Yeah, let's do this, dude. Uh, hold on, don't start your video games just yet. Uh, dude, is that who I think it is? Oh my gosh, it better not be Ragatha again. Wait a second, what the heck? Ragatha's back and she has an ice cream truck that says, I love you, Speaker Man. Are you serious, dude? Speaker Man, hop in my truck. We can eat ice cream together. Oh, uh, what the heck? It literally says, I love Speaker Man. Dude, no. this is so annoying. She has the hugest crush me ever. Oh my gosh, can she just let us play our video games already? I just want to play, man. Yeah, me too. Here, let me go down and talk to her. Uh, Ragatha, please stop You're it. You're literally bugging me so much. Well, I want you to go on a date with me, and I'm not going to stop bugging you until you do. Well, you're not going to stop bugging me until I do? Oh, my gosh. Ragatha, you're so annoying. Honestly, Speaker Man, I think you should just go on a date with her. Wait, what, Jax? You want me to go on a date with her? Yeah, bro, she's literally nonstop bugging us. And it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to play video games if she just keeps coming back. Oh, I guess that's true, Jax. Well, Ragatha, I guess I'll go on a date with you. Oh, my goodness, no way. Okay, Speaker Man, we're going to have so much fun. Uh, okay, yeah, hopefully do have a lot of fun. Now hop in my ice cream truck and let's go. Uh, okay, yeah, hop in your ice cream truck. Okay, Speaker Man, and this is where we are going for our date. Oh, uh, Ragatha, we're going to the beach for our date? Yep, I love the beach. Do you like the beach? Uh, yeah, I guess the beach is fine. Well, what are we even going to be eating on our date? Well, I was thinking we could eat some ice cream. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You literally brought me in a humongous ice cream truck. Yeah, I know. We'll grab some ice cream and we can start our date. Uh, okay, well, here. Let me get some bubblegum ice cream real quick. Yeah. Uh, Ragatha, what are we even going to do on our date? Oh, my gosh, I just turned bubblegum too. It's meant to be. Uh, okay. Uh, Ragtha, I don't know if it's meant to be because I literally just met you a few minutes ago and you're literally super duper crazy. I know, but we both chose bubblegum. Yeah, Ragtha, I'm pretty sure that was just a coincidence. All right, Speaker Man, think whatever you want. Well, let's go to the beach and start. Uh, all right, Ragtha, yeah, let's go to the beach and what do you want to do? Well, I thought we could just talk with each other. Uh, okay, yeah, well, here, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from the Amazing Digital Circus and I have a huge crush on you. Ragtha, I literally knew both of those. Oh, then what would you want to know? Well, I wanted to know why you had a huge crush on me. Well, I think you're so cute and totally not 
because I want to stay in Brookhaven. Oh, wait a second. Are you using me, Ragatha? Uh, no. Why do you think that? Because you literally said totally not to just stay in Brookhaven. Uh, no. You're hearing stuff, Speaker Man. Ragatha, I'm not hearing stuff. Why do you not like the Amazing Digital Circus? Well, Kane has been super annoying to me, and that's why. Kane's been annoying to you? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. And I really want to stay in Brookhaven. Oh, yeah, Brookhaven is pretty cool. Yeah, it sure is, but do you know what's even cooler? Uh, no, what's even cooler? Well, Speaker Man, you're the one that's cool. Can I kiss you? Wait a second, Ragatha. You want to kiss me? We literally only knew each other for like one hour now. Uh, yeah, I really want to kiss you. I have the hugest crush on you ever. Oh, my goodness, Ragatha. I'm sorry, but I can't kiss you right now. Wait, what? You can't kiss me? Why? Well, because I barely even know you. Oh, come on, Speaker Man, but we're meant to be. Don't you believe in fate? Uh, no, I don't really believe in that. And Ragatha, honestly, you're getting kind of crazy. What? Me? No, no, no. I'm not being crazy. Oh, uh, Ragatha? Ragatha, you're literally actually getting super duper crazy. No, 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 I'm not. Okay, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You know what? I'm going to head back to my house. I'll see you. Come on, just enjoy some ice cream with me. Don't have to leave. I'm sorry, Ragatha, but I'm leaving. Uh, I'm going to get you to kiss me. You better come back here. Wait, what the heck? Oh, my gosh. Hey, oh, my gosh. I'm back at my house. Okay, phew. Ragatha was so crazy. Hopefully, she doesn't come back. Well, dude, that was a quick date. What happened? Well, oh, dude, she wanted to kiss me, and then I told her that I didn't want to kiss her, and she became super duper crazy. Oh, my gosh. Now you made her crazy. She's literally going to come back here, and she's going to be so crazy to us, bro. Yeah, I know, Jax. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, first off, you shouldn't have made her crazy. And second off, you probably shouldn't have gone on that date. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I know, bro, but I can't change the past. Yeah, I guess we can. Well, we're just going to have to hide from her now because she's literally going to be so crazy. Yeah, she sure will be. Well, Jax, where are we going to hide? I don't know, but oh, my gosh, she's here. What the heck? Ragnar, who's here? And wait a second. What she have? She has a gun. Quick, Speaker Man, we got to hide. I think she's breaking inside. Yeah, I do, too. Oh, Speaker Man, open up. Oh, dude, I literally hear her. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm going to hide in the bathroom. Hopefully, she doesn't find me. Uh, all right, dude, I'll join you as well. I'm scared. Speaker Man, I'm coming inside. Wait a second, bro. Did you just hear that? She said she's coming inside. Shh, be quiet, Speaker Man. She will not find us inside of here. Yeah, hopefully she won't. And yes, I broke the door, and now I'm going to find you guys. Uh oh, Jax, I think she's already inside the house. Oh, no, this is not good at all. Hopefully, she doesn't find us. Yeah, hopefully she doesn't, dude. Huh, where would Speaker Man be? If I was Speaker Man and I was scared, I'd be in the bathroom. Wait a second, didn't she just say bathroom? Oh, hey there, boys. What are you guys doing in there? Oh, uh, Speaker Man, good luck with this. I'm out of here. Wait, what, Jax? Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. Uh, hey there, Ragatha. I'm just uh, showering in the bathroom. What? You're showering? I think that's a lie. I think you're hiding from me because you don't want to kiss me. Oh, uh, yeah, that's kind of true, and because you're super duper crazy. Uh, Speaker Man, I'm not crazy. I just want a kiss from you. All right, so I'm sorry. But I'm not going to kiss you. Bye. Uh, get back here, Speaker Man. I'm going to get you to kiss me. Yeah, sure. Catch me if you can. Oh, my gosh. You're going to hide fast. And oh, my gosh. Ragnarok is just running away. Oh, my gosh. Where did he go? Oh, my goodness. How did Ragnarok not see me? Guys, this is so crazy. Ragnarok has a huge crush on me. Now she's super duper crazy because I won't kiss her. Dude, that was so scary. Wait a second, Jax. You were hiding in that bush the whole time? Yes, bro. Is she still here? No, dude. She literally just ran away. But I still think she's trying to find me. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, she had a crush on you and now she's became so crazy. Yeah, she sure has, bro. Well, dude, we gotta do something about this. Yeah, we sure do, Jax, but what should we even do? Well, how about we go to the police station and get this girl arrested? Huh, you wanna get Ragatha arrested? I mean, yeah. Honestly, that's not even a bad idea. And hopefully after she gets arrested, she'll stop having a crush on me. Yeah, hopefully she will. Well, let's go to the police station and report this. Yeah, Jax, let's go. And Jax, we made it to the police station, so, uh, hey there, Mr. Policeman, we would like to report something. Well, what do you want to report? Well, dude, there's this girl from the Amazing Digital Circus called Ragatha. And she has a humongous crush on me. So what? Are you scared of her cooties or something? Dude, I'm not scared of her cooties. I declined a kiss from her. Now she's super duper crazy. And she's trying to kill us, sir. What? She's trying to kill you guys? Okay, where is she? I'll arrest her. Oh, dude, honestly, I don't know. She was trying to find me, so I think she's around Brookhaven somewhere. Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, wait a second. Oh, my gosh, Mr. Policeman, that's her right there. Oh, I'm out of here. You can deal with this yourself. Wait a second, Mr. Policeman, you're literally supposed to arrest her. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. Well, how about we just go talk to her? Dude, you want to talk with her? Yeah, maybe we can figure out a way for her to stop this. Oh my gosh, Jax, honestly. That's not a bad idea. Well, hey there, Ragatha. We come in peace. We want to talk to you. Oh, you want to talk to me? All right. Yeah, honestly, we're just wondering, what can we do to make you stop this? Um, well, there's only one thing, Speaker Man. It's for you to kiss me. What? For me to kiss you? Yep, that's all. Dude, Speaker Man, I think you actually have to do it. Because if you don't kiss her, she's literally just going to keep being crazy. And the policeman doesn't even want to arrest her. Oh my gosh, dude, you're right, Jax. I mean, she does have a humongous crush on me after all, so you know what? I guess I'll do it, but hopefully after I kiss her, then she'll leave us alone so we can play video games. Yeah, dude, all I want to do is play video games. Now, come on, Speaker Man, you got this. All right, well, Ragatha, you know what? I'll kiss you, okay? Oh my gosh, no way! Well, but it's under one condition. Wait, what? One condition? Okay, what is it? Well, Ragatha, if I kiss you, you have to leave us alone. 
Okay. And you have to stop being crazy. Okay, speaker man, deal. All right, then. Well, Ragatha, you can kiss me. Yeah, yeah, I've been waiting for this moment my whole entire life. Mwah! Ew, oh my gosh, that sucks. And there you go now. Ragatha, get in your tank and go home. And me and speaker man are going to be playing video games. Okay, fine, but speaker man, I'll always have a crush on you. Uh, okay, Ragatha, well, see ya. See, speaker man, it wasn't that hard. All you had to do was give her a kiss, and now she will stop bothering us. Yep, I guess that's all I had to do. Well, let's go home and play video games now. Yeah, let's go. And finally, I will be able to defeat you once and for all, Titan Speaker Man. No, Skippy Troll, don't you, please. With the push of this button, you will be annihilated from this world. No. And wait a second, why am I seeing myself? Am I in heaven now? Wait a second, why do you look like me? Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm Skippy Troll, what the heck? And I'm Speaker Man, oh no, oh no. That was the wrong button, it brain swapped us. Oh my gosh, well, I gotta get out of here fast. Yes, Skippy Troll. Hey, get back here. I I have to turn us back. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so bad. Skippy Troll accidentally brain swapped us here. I gotta hide over here. Oh no, hopefully he doesn't do anything bad in my body. Where is he? Confused, guys, I lost him. And you know what? Since I'm Skippy Troll now, I think I'm gonna cause so much havoc since none of the blame is gonna be on me and all the blame is gonna be on him. Well, uh huh, who shall I call this havoc to first? La 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 la, I'm so excited to go to school. Wait a second. Oh, hey there, little girl. Oh, hi, mister. I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Sorry. Boy, little girl, come back here real fast. No, I I need to go to school. A little girl, stay right there. Uh, okay. I have a proposal for you. Give me your bike and nothing will be wrong. But if you don't give me your bike, then I'm going to have to take it with force. What? This is my bike I got for my birthday. No way. Little girl, I said give me your bike. No, get away from me. Uh, little girl, give me your bike. Mr. Skibbity Toilet, why did you do that? Because I'm evil. <laughs> give me my bike back. To school. Oh my gosh, guys. I honestly feel bad for the little girl. Well, the blame won't call me. It's gonna go on Skippy Toilet. Hey, guys, let's see how far we can push the limits in Skippy Toilet. And push the limits even further, I'm gonna cause some havoc at the grocery store right here. Hello, sir. How can I help you? And, uh, no bikes are allowed in our store. Yeah, I don't care, lady. And I'm gonna be taking these Doritos and this pizza right here. Hey, Skippy Toilet, what are you doing? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just stealing everything from your store. There you are, Speaker Man. Uh oh, uh, hey there, Skippy Toilet. Ma'am, this is not Skibbity Toilet. He is inside of my body. Now get over here and stop causing havoc. No, see you, Skibbity Toilet. Hey, get back here, Speaker Man. Oh, he's too fast. He's on a bike. Ha, <laughs> Skibbity Toilet. I'm causing so much havoc in your body and you can't stop me. And guys, by the end of the day, I'm going to make everyone in this town hate Skibbity Toilet. It's going to be so hilarious. Ice cream. Come get your ice cream. Wait a second. Did I just hear someone selling ice cream? Oh, yeah. I think the ice cream store is having a sale today, so that is perfect. I can go there and I can steal literally every single flavor of ice cream. This is going to be so much fun. And hey there, can I get all the ice cream in the store? Uh, no, we are not giving you all the ice cream, but you can have one scoop. What? Are you serious right now? One scoop? Yep, you heard me, mister. Why would I want one scoop? Oh my gosh. You know what? If you're only going to give me one scoop, then I guess I'll just take it all for myself. No, no, no. Don't take the ice cream. Well, too bad. Let me just take some of this. Hey, give that back. And some of this. Yum, yum, yum. I'm going to call the police on you. Yeah, do a little girl. I don't care. Uh, police, my ice cream store's getting wrong. And let me eat some birthday cake. Yum, yum, yum. And vanilla ice cream. Oh, this is my favorite ever. And finally, the chocolate. Thank you so much, little girl. Please come quick. Hey, get off of that bike. Uh, the police are going to get you. Uh-oh. Uh, hey there, Mr. Policeman. Stephanie Toilet, you are under arrest. Come on. What? I'm under arrest? I mean, okay. Actually, yeah, yeah. I guess I'll be under arrest. What? Are you not going to fight back or something? You always do that. Nah, honestly, today, I don't really care. All right. Well, go ahead and hop off your bike, please. And now let's go to the police station, Skibbity Toilet. Oh, all right, Mr. Police Officer. Guys, this is the best day ever. I cannot believe I'm arrested in the Skibbity Toilet. This is hilarious. And here's your cell. All right. Thanks a lot. But why are you so happy, Skibbity Toilet? You're usually really angry whenever we catch you. Uh, you know, I'm just having the happiest day of my life. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna be over here. All right, see ya, Mr. Policeman. Yes, guys, I got arrested in Skibbity Toilet. He is gonna get so mad whenever he finds this out. Oh, Skibbity Toilet, you have a visitor. A visitor? Are you serious? Who could it be? Speaker Man, what are you doing in jail? Oh, uh, hey there, Skibbity Toilet. Uh, I'm just chilling in here. What do you mean? Why do you just put me in jail? Well, oh, because I wanted to, Skibbity Toilet. I've seen you causing havoc all over the town. You need to stop it right now. And to make you stop it, I'm gonna go in that cell and turn us back. Wait, what? Uh oh. Guys, I gotta escape out of for fast. Okay, okay. How can I escape? Maybe I can flush myself down the toilet and, uh, uh oh. No, that does not work, guys. Well, maybe there's a hidden exit under the bed and, no, there's none right there. Wait a second. There's a bed right here. Okay, uh, see you, Skippy Toilet.
toilet. Hey, police officer, could you get me the key so I can open up this jail cell? Yeah, sure. Just give me a second. And guys, little does he know that I literally just escaped. Wait a second. Where did he go? <laughs> and guys, now that I escaped, I'm going to cause even more havoc. And guys, the stuff that I do next is going to be even more insane. So what I'm going to do is break into someone's house. And after that, I'm going to burn it all the way down. So let me find a house real fast. And guys, look at this. I think I found the perfect house. So let's see if anyone's inside, huh? Whoa, it seems like one person is home. And what is she doing? I think she's watching a TV show on the couch. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to try to sneak inside of this house. And right after I do that, I'm going to burn the whole place down. So let's see. Maybe I can sneak in through the garage. And no, nope. I can't sneak in through there. So, huh? Let's see. Maybe I can sneak in through the back entrance. And uh-oh. She's getting up to go somewhere. She's in the fridge. Okay, good. Well, guys, here, let's see the back door is open. And perfect. Okay. I'm just going to cross straight into her house. And let's just go up these stairs real fast. And let's see if she has any valuables. Okay. Well, there's a vault right here. No way. Let's see if I can open this thing. And nope, I can't. That's a rip. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Wait a second. Oh, guys, okay. she's coming upstairs. She's right there. How does she not see me? Oh, no, this is so bad. Okay, I'm just gonna crawl straight downstairs, and hopefully she doesn't wake up and see me. Oopsie, I forgot my cookies downstairs. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Uh, who are you? Oh, uh, I'm a skimpy toilet, of course. Oh, uh, why are you in my house? Uh, you know, I was just, like, doing stuff. Well, get out. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. See ya. I'm gonna call the police. All right, do whatever you want. Hello, police. A toilet man just broke into my house. And uh oh, guys, she's actually calling the police. Okay, I gotta sneak in the back and I have to turn on this thing real fast. And then I can burn down her whole entire house. So let me turn it on and let me crank the temperature all the way up to 1,000. Perfect. And now we can just let this cook in in one minute. The whole entire house will be on fire, guys. And wait a second. Why am I smelling smoke? Oh my gosh, my whole house is on fire. And just like that, guys, look at her whole entire house is fully on fire. Oh, my gosh. I got to get out of here fast. Oh, my gosh. That was so hilarious, guys. My beautiful house. Give it each one that the police are coming to arrest you. I don't care. See ya. You're so slow. I'm going to catch up and tackle you. Wait, what? Oh, no, no. I got to run faster. Uh, take this. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Now we just got to wait till the police arrive. Oh, no. I'm so scared to get arrested again. There you are, Skippity Toilet. Hey, why do you escape jail? Oh, because I wanted to, Mr. Police man. He escaped jail and he burnt down my house. What? He burnt down your house? Okay, we're gonna get a fireman right over there in a second. Well, Skibbity Toilet, we're going to jail. Oh, man, I'm so sad to be back in jail. Wait a second, why do you sound sarcastic? Oh, for no reason. Whoopsie, oh, wait a random lady. And we're back at the police station now. Go ahead and get in your jail cell. All right, Mr. Policeman, thanks a lot. But I have to ask you something, Skibbity Toilet. Why are you so happy to go to jail? Oh, honestly, I just like it in jail more than my actual house. Well, that's very weird because some guy dressed up as tight and speaker man came over here and said that he was actually skibbity toilet. Wait, what? Did he really? Uh, nah, I think he was lying to you. And you also sound really, really weird today. Yeah, honestly, I think I have a cold, Mr. Policeman. All right, well, I'm gonna keep you inside of this jail cell because you keep doing horrible stuff. And you better rethink your actions, skibbity toilet, because your reputation in this city is going to be destroyed. All right, thanks a lot, Mr. Policeman. And guys, honestly, I think I already destroyed skibbity toilet's reputation. I've caused so much havoc on the whole entire town today. There you are, speaker man. Oh, uh hey, Hey there, Skibbity Toilet. You've been doing so much bad stuff in my name today. And you are ruining my reputation around the city. So you know what, Speaker Man? This is gonna be the end of you. I am turning us back. Wait, what? You're gonna turn us back? Oh, no, you are. Hey, wait a second. Get back here, Speaker Man. Haha, <laughs> you can't catch me. And oh my gosh. Come on, is there a car around here that I can steal? Wait a second. There's a super dino car. Hey, girl. Uh, hello? Stop for a second. Uh, here. Hop out of your car real fast. Uh, okay. And thanks a lot. Hey, get my car back. Hey, get back here, Speaker Man. Wait, what? Why are you in the police car? Oh my gosh, this is bad. I just stole his police car because that was the only car that was there. And look at this. I'm way faster than you. Pull over now. No, you can't catch me, Skippy Toilet. Uh-oh, I gotta juke him out. Hey, get back here, Speaker Man. Oh my gosh, guys, this is insane. I'm at a high-speed chase right now. Uh-oh. No. He's ramming into me. Whoa. Get over here, Speaker Man. You've done so much bad stuff. Catch me if you can, Skippy Toilet. Uh, all right, I will catch you. I'm gonna ram into you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is bad. Oh. No. Get out of there, Speaker Man. I'm turning us back into ourselves. Oh, no, guys. I gotta run. Uh, take this. Uh, Finally, 
really knocked you down, Speaker Man. Now it's time to turn back into ourselves. Because you have been doing so much bad stuff in my body. So now it's finally time to turn back. Uh, take that. And yes, I finally turned back into myself. And oh, I'm back into myself. And Titan Speaker Man, you're under arrest. Wait, what? I'm under arrest? You have done so much bad stuff today. What? I didn't do You did it. Hey, get off me. Now, come on, Speaker Man. You're going to jail. What? Are you serious right now? Oh, my gosh. I shouldn't have done that stuff. I'm sorry. Uh, this TV channel is so boring. I really wish Black Street for 24 hours was on, but it's not today. And I'm literally so bored. There's nothing fun going on. I'm just gonna get up and I'm gonna go downstairs and get something to eat. And uh, let's see, what do I have to eat? And oh my gosh, I have bananas. Yes, sir. I love bananas so much. But wait a second, bro. Are you serious? The banana is literally raw. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it right now. My whole day is trash. Wait a second. What the heck? TV woman literally just sent me a Snapchat? No way. Oh my Gosh, guys, maybe this is my chance at her dating me while here. Let me see. And it says, Gibby girls only sleepover. Wait a second. What the heck? Guys, they're literally having a Gibby girls only sleepover without me. Oh my gosh. You know what? I think I figured out a way to cure my boredom for the day. What I'm going to do is go over to TV Woman's house and I'm going to go to their sleepover and hopefully I can actually get inside. Because I'm so bored right now and maybe when I'm inside there, I can get her to date me while here. Let me off my car real quick and I'm going to head over to her house right here. Oh my God. Guys, I can't believe it, so I'm just gonna go up here to the front door. And wait a second, guys, look up there. They're literally both the Skippy Girl, Speaker Woman Girl, and TV Woman. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. And I'm gonna knock on the door. Uh, hello, knock, knock. Is anyone home? Oh my gosh, Speaker Woman, who's knocking at the door? I don't know, let's see. Uh, hey there, Skippy Girls. Uh, Speaker Man, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I saw your Snapchat that you sent me, and I was kind of wondering if I could join your Skippy Girls only sleepover. Uh, Speaker Man, this is a Skippy Girls only sleepover. No boys are allowed. Yeah, we're serious? Did you not read the text? Yeah, I literally just sent you a snap that says no boys are allowed. Wait a second, you did? Oh my gosh, here, let me check my phone real quick. And no boys allowed, bro? Are you serious right now? Come on, guys. Can you make an exception, please? I'm so bored today. The only way we can make an exception is if you were a girl, and you're not a girl, so good day. Wait, what? Guys, hey, let me in. Oh my gosh. They just shut the door in my face. Are you kidding me? See you later, speaker man. Yeah, see ya, speaker woman. Guys, I cannot believe this right now. TV woman just said the only way that I can get inside of the Skipper Girls at least Sleepovers if I became a girl. And I'm not a girl. I'm literally a man. Well, you know what? Honestly, I think I'm gonna give up boy in a second. She said if I become a girl, I could get into the sleepover. So what if I dress up as a girl? Then I sneak into the skippy girls only sleepover. Oh my goodness. That is such a great idea. Well, huh. Well, first I think I need to change some clothes, and after that, I gotta put on a wig. Because I literally got like no hair right now. Well, here, let me think. Where can I get some clothes in a wait a second? There's literally a girl's clothing store, and then there's a hairdresser right next to her. I'm even thinking. Well, you know what? I'm gonna head there right now, and I'm gonna buy some girl clothes so I can sneak into the Skippy Girls only sleepover. And perfect, guys. I made it to the Chick clothing store. And this clothing store is literally for girls only, so I'm gonna go in here, and I'm gonna get some girl clothes. So, hey there, missies. I have a question for you. Uh, aren't you a man? This is a girls only clothing store. I mean, yeah, I am a man, but I need some girls clothing. Uh, okay, that's a little strange, but what are you looking for? Well, preferably girl pajamas. Oh, pajamas? We have a whole section. Follow me. Wait, really? Uh, all right. After I get these pajamas, I gotta do my hair right across the street over here. And then I can sneak into the girls' only sleepover. This is gonna be insane. And here we are. You can try on anything that you would like. Oh my gosh. All right. Thanks a lot, missus. Hey guys, now I'm gonna try on some pajamas. And let's see what ones make me look like a girl. And here's my first set of pajamas. And wait a second. What the heck? This is literally a chicken onesie. Oh my gosh. You look so hilarious. Bro, what? No, I do not look hilarious. I mean, okay, actually, yeah, I do look super duper hilarious. Well, you know what? Let me find some actual good looking girls pajamas so i can sneak into that sleepover all right here let me change real quick and perfect oh my goodness this looks like something a girl would wear no way it's literally like a pink piggy with a heart okay well missus i would like to buy this please oh those look fabulous honey yeah i know what they do okay well this will be 50 bucks 50 bucks are you serious oh my gosh all right well here let me scan my credit card real quick you know all right thank you no thank you have a great day yep you too and guys now that i have my pink piggy pajamas i can go to the hairdresser and get my hair done and after that i'm gonna sneak into the skip girl so only sleepover. It's gonna be so crazy. So here, let me go to the hair salon real quick. And I'm gonna get my hair done. Oh, hey there, cute piggy. Welcome to my hair salon. Uh, hey. I was wondering if I can get my hair done. Of course you can. Wait, really? It was that easy? Uh, 
all right. Uh, yeah, as long as you're paying me. Yep, I'll be paying you. Okay, well, little piggy, come and sit in this chair right here. All right, missus. And what do you want to do to your hair today, darling? Uh, I would like a blonde wig, please. Oh, okay, we have many blonde wig options, so I'll show you a few. All right, yeah, perfect. Okay, and here's the first option. Wait a second, this is the first option? Honestly, <laughs> I'm that bad. You know what, I'll actually take this. Oh, wow. That was really quick. Yeah, I know. Well, come over to this counter and pay me. All right, yeah, here you go, missus. Okay, thank you so much. Have a great day. Yep, you too. And guys, now that I have my plot wig on, I can sneak into the skimming crow until we sleep over. And I can try to get TV woman to date me. So I'm going to head back to my car real quick, and I'm going to drive over to her house right now. And I made it to their house, so guys, now that I'm dressed up as a skimming girl, hopefully I can actually get inside now, and that wasn't a waste. Well, here, knock, knock, knock. Hello, skimming girls. Are you home? Oh, my gosh, that better not be speaker man at the door again. I'm literally going to be so mad. Oh my gosh, they're coming down right now. Uh, hey there, girls. Uh, girl, who is this? Um, yeah, who are you? Uh, hey there, girlies. I'm new around here. Uh, I'm speaker woman girl. Speaker woman girl? Uh, no, I'm speaker woman. Oh, I, I, I meant speaker man girl. I'm a sister. Oh, you're speaker man's sister. Okay. Well, it seems like you are a girl, so you know what? You can come into our sleepover. Wait, what? Real? I mean, wait, what? Really? No way. Yeah, girl, of course. Welcome to our town. Yeah, thanks a lot. Well, girlies, uh, can you show me around your house? And uh, what are we going to even do tonight? Well, I was thinking that we could play a lot of games tonight and we could have some frappuccinos. Wait a second. Play a lot of games tonight and have frappuccinos? Uh, okay, that sounds slay. Period, girl. Well, well, look at this frappuccino. Oh, this is literally so delicious. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that sure does look delicious. Here, can I have a sip? Uh, yeah, girl. You can have a sip because you're a girl. All right. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, my gosh. That frappuccino is slaying. Well, skip it girlies how about we start playing our first game wait what we're playing the first game right now uh all right girly yay this is gonna be so much fun we should play truth or dare hold on truth or dare no way that uh, sounds like so much fun yeah it totally does i'm so down all right well uh how about let's go sit down on the couch and let's start all right yeah let's do this girlies well girlies who wants to go first for truth or dare huh, i think speaker woman should go first what i should go first uh no i don't really want to go first what but you got chosen you have to. Yeah, come on, girl. Truth or dare? Uh, okay, I guess I'll go first then. I am gonna go for a truth. Wait a second. You're gonna go for a truth? No way. TV woman, what should we make her tell the truth about? I don't know, girl. I think you should choose because you're new. Bro, what? Are you serious? Okay. Wait a second. I got a great idea. Okay. Speaker woman, you're not ready for this. Uh, yes, I am. Give me it. Well, is it true that you like frappuccinos? Oh my gosh. Yes, I love frappuccinos. That is true. Oh my gosh. This game is so much fun. I wanna go next. Pick me. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, you can go next. And guys, these truths and dares are going to get even more insane. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Well, uh, TV woman, truth or dare? I choose dare. Wait a second, a dare. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Speaker woman, we have to choose the best dare ever. All right, yeah, let's choose the best dare. Well, what is it gonna be, speaker girl, man? Well, I think for a dare, we should make her dance on the table. Oh my gosh, that would literally be so embarrassing, and I could snap it to all my friends. Okay, yeah. TV woman, you have to dance on the table. Oh my gosh, what? No, that's so bad. Nope, you have to dance on the table. You're not allowed to back out. Yeah, we're gonna get Snapchats of you. Oh my gosh, no, that's not fair. Yes, it is fair. Now get to dancing. Yeah, come on. Oh my gosh, say cheese to my followers. Okay, I'll dance for you. And look at me go. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Oh my gosh, you look so ridiculous. I'm gonna put her on bar filter. Oh my gosh, what? No, that's so rude, girl. Oh my gosh, TV woman, you look so hilarious. Hey guys, I'm gonna post this to my story. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to everyone all. Also. No, don't send it to everyone, speaker woman. Haha, <laughs> I already did it. I'm done with that dare. All right, girly, but wait a second. Um, Speaker man just posted on his story. Wait a second, uh, he did? Wait, why is speaker man posting on his story? Oh my gosh, guys. I forgot that I had them added. I'm not actually a girl. Oh no. Hopefully they don't get suspicious of me. I have to delete my story fast. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Look at his story. Why is his sister posting on his story of you dancing on the table? Oh my gosh, why? Why did you post it on his Snapchat? Oh, uh, uh, guys, I can explain uh, a share account. Oh, that makes more sense. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, I was getting scared for a second. I thought Speaker Man snuck into our girls' only sleepover. No, no, no. He would never do that. Oh my gosh, guys. That was way too close. Okay. Hopefully, I do not get exposed for sneaking into your wall here. Let me check the Snapchat real quick. And <laughs> she's dancing on the table. Haha, <laughs> that was so funny. All right, guys. Well, it's my turn now. All right, Speaker Girl Man. Truth or dare? Uh, truth or dare? I want to dare. Oh my gosh, girl. You're so rebellious. Yeah, I know, girl. All right, 
right, speaker man girl, I dare you to sing. Wait a second. You want me to sing? Uh, My voice isn't good. Trust. No, girl. I believe in you. You can sing. Bro, what are you serious? Oh my gosh. I've never singed in my life. Well, guys, what song should I sing? How about you sing Barbie Girl? Wait a second. Barbie Girl by Barbie? Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Well, guys, I guess I'll sing that. I'm a Barbie Girl in a Barbie world. Oh my gosh. You Made suck plastic. at singing. It is fantastic. Oh my gosh. My ears are literally bleeding. Wait, what, guys? Are you serious? Please put that micro down. Please. Yeah, never sing ever again. That was literally so horrible. Bro, what? Oh my gosh, all right. Yeah, you're just not cut out for singing. Sorry. Yeah, see, I literally told you guys. Well, it's not my turn anymore. It's your speaker woman, so truth or dare. Okay, I choose a dare. Oh my gosh, she chose a dare. Oh my gosh, girl, I have the most perfect dare ever. But hold on, let me go get it. Wait, what? You're getting something? Uh, all right. Speaker woman, what do you think it's gonna be? Uh, I'm not really sure. Hopefully, it's not anything bad. Yeah, that would be super duper crazy. Okay, speaker woman, I dare you to eat this whole jar of baby food. Uh, that is literally so disgusting. Oh my gosh, she ate it. I'm gonna Snapchat it. Oh my gosh, I can't back down from a dare, so I guess I'm literally just gonna have to eat that. Give me it. Yep, and I'm gonna show all of our friends that you like baby food. No. Oh my gosh, I'm Snapchatting this right now. Say cheese. Oh my gosh, okay, I guess I'll start eating it. Oh, and oh my goodness, guys. I'm gonna send that to all of you. Hey, hey. Dude, this literally tastes so disgusting, guys. I do not want to eat this anymore. Well, girl, it's a dare. You gotta finish it all. What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Well, it seems like there's only one more bite left, so you know what? I'm just gonna eat it. Oh. I am never eating baby food ever again. <laughs> that dare was so funny. Well, you know what, TV woman? I'm forcing you to do a dare. Oh, what? No, that's cheating. No, it's not cheating. You gave me a dare, so I'm gonna give you one. And you know what the dare is gonna be? Oh, uh, what is it gonna be? It is going to be call your crush. Oh my gosh. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah, you have to call your crush. No way. Come on, don't be a scaredy baby. Oh, says the baby that just ate all the baby food. Oh, roasted. Hey, don't you dare ever say that ever again. You are not allowed to back down from a dare, so you have to do it. Come on, get on the couch. Ugh, this is so dumb. dumb. Oh, TV woman, you have to call your crush now. Ugh, all oh, right, but you already know who it is, speaker woman. Yeah, I know who it is, but it's gonna be so funny because speaker woman girl is right here. Wait, uh, guys, what do you mean? Okay, but you know I have a crush on Speaker Man. Wait, what? You have a crush on Speaker Man? Uh, guys, I, I kind of have to pee. I'll be right back. Okay, Speaker Man girl. Oh my gosh, guys, she's literally calling me. And this isn't even the bathroom. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it right now. I have to answer the phone. Uh, hey, hey there. Oh my gosh, girl, he answered the phone. Oh my gosh, say that you have a crush on him. Uh, Speaker Man, I, I have a crush on you. Wait, what? You have a crush on me? Oh my gosh, she's hung up. Wait a second. Why did I just hear Speaker Man talk in the other room? Wait a second, and that's not even the bathroom. Room. Oh, guys, this is bad. I think this caught on to me. Oh, my gosh. Wait a second. This is all adding up. You are Speaker Man. Oh, uh, uh, guys, no, no, no. I'm not Speaker Man. Trust. Take off that pajama right now. Hey, what the heck? Hey, give me that back. I paid $50 for that. Oh, my gosh. It is Speaker Man. I knew it was you, Speaker Man. You snuck it to the girls' only sleepover. Uh-oh. I've been caught. Bye. Get out of here. Oh, my gosh, guys. I literally snuck it to the Skippy girls' only sleepover. That was crazy. Uh, good morning, world. Today is going to be so awesome. But to start out with my day, I'm going to go downstairs and get some food. Uh, TV man, my stomach hurts super bad. Wait a second. What? Is that my mom? Her stomach hurts super bad? Don't worry, Titan TV woman. You're going to be okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. This is bad. My mom's stomach hurts so bad. Uh, maybe I should go check in on them. Uh, hey, mom, why does your stomach hurt? Uh, I don't know, so, but guys, I think I'm about to throw up. All right. You're going to the bathroom. Oh, my gosh. This is bad, mom. Please be okay. Ugh, ew, that stinks so bad. Oh, that's so disgusting. Well, uh, are you okay? No, I think I should go to the hospital. Wait, what? Go to the hospital? All right, we're going to the hospital. Come on. Titan speaker, man, follow us. All right, Dad. Oh, my gosh. This is so bad. Hopefully, Mom's going to be all right. Quick, get in the car. All right, Dad. Hopefully, your mom's going to be all right. I don't know what's wrong with her. We're going to have to go see her at the hospital. Guys, come on. It's hurting so bad. Come on, Mom. Just hang in there. We're about to be in the hospital any second now. All right, we're here. Now, quick, bring your mom inside. All right, Mom, here. Get inside fast. 
Yes. Hey, doctor, quick, please help my mom. She feels super duper sick right now. All right, do we know why she's feeling sick? No, we don't know why, but she was like throwing up and stuff and her stomach super hurts. All right, well, let's go get a room. Come on, fast. All right, doctor, I'll be right behind you. Okay, let's go inside of this room and mom lay on that bed ASAP. Oh, okay, I don't feel good. Don't worry, lady, we're gonna run some tests on you. Oh, no, hopefully the results are gonna come back good, mom. So Titan TV woman, when did this start happening? Uh, I don't know, probably this morning. All right, all right, let me take a look. Okay, let me listen to your heart. Okay, your heart sounds fine. Now, let me listen to your stomach. Wait a second. Why is there a heartbeat inside your stomach? Wait, a heartbeat inside of your stomach, mom? What? Do I have two hearts? Uh, I don't know. Here, uh, let me do an ultrasound real quick. Okay, so let me take a look and wait a second. What even is that thing? Doc, what do you see down there? It seems like it's a baby. Huh, a baby? Huh, a baby? Yeah, a baby. Uh, it seems like you're pregnant. No, no, no. This could not be right. Yep, I'm serious. You have a baby inside of your stomach. Holy mackerel, mom. I'm gonna be a brother. Yes, that's awesome, Titan Speaker Man, but we don't have anything ready. Wait, we don't have anything ready? Well, uh, dad can run to the store and get some stuff for you. No, dad has to stay home with me. You gotta go by yourself, honey. What are you serious? Oh my gosh, mom. Here's a list of everything I need you to get. Uh, okay, mom, let me see what is on this list. All right, so I have to shop for new clothes for mom and then shop for baby stuff. And last one, I need to shop for some groceries. Uh, all right, mom, I think I can do this. And after I'm dead, I'll bring it back home. And hopefully I'll have a baby brother by then. Yeah, hopefully you will. Well, your baby's actually going to be born in an hour, so I would probably get on it. Hey, yo, what? One hour? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, well, I gotta get this list done fast. Yep, you sure do. Oh my gosh, all right, well, what's the first thing on this list? Huh, let me see. So first, I need to shop for some new clothes for mom. So, um, where even is the clothing store? Let me see. Maybe it's right here. It says ice cream. Okay, well, I'm gonna go into the ice cream store, and maybe they sell some clothes here. Oh, let me just go inside real fast, and, uh, hello there, Mr. Worker. Do you sell clothes here? Do I sell clothes here? Uh, I don't even know. This is in my ice cream shop. I just broke in here. Ice cream? What even is ice cream? It's the most tastiest thing in the world. What? The most tastiest thing in the world? Well, okay. Can I maybe try some? Yeah, what flavor do you want? Uh, can I have this flavor right here, the rainbow one? Uh, yeah, I can give you the rainbow one. Uh, all right, thanks. And, uh, by the way, do you know where they sell clothes? Do I know where they sell clothes? Uh, I don't even know. What? Are you kidding me, kid? Can you maybe help me find the clothing store? Because my mom is pregnant right now, and she really needs some clothes. Uh, okay, I can help you. Do you need clothes like me because I look so cool? Uh, yeah, maybe that will work. I don't really know. Well, here, show me where the clothing store is. All right, follow me. Uh, okay, kid. Yeah, let's go to the clothing store. Well, we're at the clothing store now. Yeah, I know, kid. Well, we're even as a person. Oh, hello there, guys. Welcome to my clothing store. Uh, hey there, missus. I'm here to shop for some clothes for my mom. Do you have any girl clothes? Oh, yes, right here. If you look right here, we have all the girl clothes. Oh, look at me. I look fashionable. Oh, yeah, kid. You kind of do look fashionable. Here, uh, let me try some clothes on for my mom because she really needs some. Well, here, let me try to put it on in. Oh, my gosh, it doesn't even fit. Well, since they don't fit on you, I could try on the clothes for your mom if you want to. Wait, what? You'll try on the clothes for my mom? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. All right, so let me know how you like this. What? What even is that? Why would my mom wear those clothes? Well, I don't know. What clothes does she even want? I'm not really sure, dude. Well, Mrs., do you have any other clothes? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. If you want some cheaper clothes, because I guess you're poor, you can go over to this section. What? Are you serious? We're not poor. Well, uh, do you think your mom would like this outfit? Uh, honestly, that doesn't look that bad. Yeah, I guess she'll like that outfit. All right, then let's go get it for her. Okay, well, Mrs., how much is the outfit going to cost right here? Oh, that outfit would be $6. $6? Uh, do you have any money? Uh, no, I don't have any money. Do you have any money? I only have ice cream cone. Well, guys, how are you supposed to pay? If you don't have any money, well, uh, I'm actually just going to leave. What, kid? You're running away? Okay, well, see you, lady. Hey, get back here. Catch us if you can. And, kid, I'm pretty sure my mom's going to love that clothes so much. Yeah, me too. It looks so awesome on me. It's going to look so awesome on her. Yeah, it sure will. Well, kid, I have one more thing on my list, so let's see what it is. And it says right here, I have to go grocery shopping for some groceries. All right, kid. And after that, we're gonna have to head to the hospital because I think my mom's gonna have the baby by then. Okay, let's go get groceries. Yeah, let's go do this, kid. And now we're at the grocery store, and kid, while we're here, I think we should shop for some baby stuff as well. All right, let's do it. Yeah, because my mom's gonna have a baby soon. What do you think the baby would like to eat? Uh, maybe Doritos. What, Doritos? Are you serious? Okay, well, I'll just get some of these for the baby. Uh, and maybe they have some cards here or something. Let's see. Is there any cards here? And no. Uh, well, my mom's really gonna need a card for the baby to push her around. Wait a second. I can literally just get my mom a shopping cart for the baby. Yeah, that's a great idea. You can push the baby around in here. Yeah, I sure can. Well, let's go 
Oh, check out. Hello, missus. Can we buy the stuff? Oh, hello. Yes, you may. All right, we're buying Doritos, and we also want the shopping cart. Oh, I'm sorry. You cannot take the shopping cart. The store owns them. Oh, uh, well, my mom's literally about to have a baby in, like, less than one hour now. And she's going to have to push her out of the baby somehow, so I'm going to take the shopping cart. Oh, well, if your mom's having a baby, why don't you buy her a stroller? Well, because we literally got no money, and we're just going to get out of here. Bye. Hey, get back here. Wait a second. What are you doing? You're not allowed to steal, and I'm going to teach you a lesson, so I'm going to kidnap you. Wait, what? You're going to kidnap me? You heard me right. Hey, you can't save me. Wait a second. Where did that kid go with my mom's clothes? Are you serious? He just ran away. <laughs> this is what you get for stealing. But my mom's going to give birth in a few minutes. I, I got to get to the hospital. Too bad, kid. You're going into my secret dungeon. What? Your secret dungeon? Oh, my gosh. I won't be able to see my new baby brother ever. Shh, be quiet, kid. I don't care about your mom having a baby. Oh, my gosh. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, missus. What can I do to make it up to you? Just sit here and be quiet and don't move. Oh, my gosh. This is bad. I always got kidnapped. After my baby brother's gonna be born any minute now. I have to get out of here, but huh? What can I do? Let me think. Oh, uh, maybe I can distract her. Uh, hey, girl. Look over there. There's a rat on the ground. Ew, a rat? Yeah, a rat. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get out of here. Hey, kid, where are you going? I was just joking. I love rats. Oh my gosh. She loves rats. I thought that would have worked. Well, girl, can I just roam around this area a little bit? Yeah, you can, but I'm gonna have my eye on you. Uh, okay, girl. Well, huh? Let me see. Well, there's a tunnel out there, but I don't want to go in there because I'll literally get shooted. Well, huh? Let me go in here. And there's a light right here. But wait a second. What if I turn off the light? Oh, my gosh. Okay, here. Let me do that real fast. And wait. There is a secret exit down here. Okay, okay. I'm going to go down. And what is this? Oh, my gosh. There's literally a security monitor right here. Okay, I'm going to go on it. And what? See, the girl's right there. She's just dancing. I don't know why she's not following me while here. I think I can literally access the whole entire town's camera. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I got to figure out where my son is. Wait a second. Is that my dad? He's trying to find me? No way. Tight speaker, man. Where are you? Oh, my gosh. My dad is literally looking for me. I'm kidnapped right now. Oh, man. Hopefully, he can find me. Oh, no. Let me go to the grocery store and see if he's in here. Oh, my gosh. My dad is literally going to the grocery store. Wait a second. What is the girl doing? She's literally outside of the place. She trapped me in, and she's going inside of the grocery store with her gun. Oh, hello, sir. Welcome to the grocery store. Oh, uh, hey there. Have you seen my son anywhere? He was supposed to be here. Uh, no. I'm so sorry. I haven't. Are you sure you haven't seen him? Uh, he looks like a speaker. He's a Titan speaker man. Uh, sorry, sir. No, I haven't seen him. Oh, my gosh. Well, my wife wife is having a baby, and I really need him, so if you see me, uh, just let me know. Okay, sir, don't worry, I will. And oh my gosh, that girl just lied to my dad, and boy, she's outside of the dungeon, so maybe I can escape now. Okay, here, let me just hop out, and let's see. Where can I even go in? Oh, wait, what? Are you serious? This place is locked. Oh, no, this is so bad. Well, wait a second. I'm literally a tiny speaker, man. What am I saying? I can literally make a speaker noise, and my dad can find me. Okay, here, let me do this. <sighs> Wait a second. Titan Speaker Man just made a noise. Speaker Man, I'm coming. Dad, save me. I'm in this dungeon. All right, don't worry, Titan Speaker Man. I'm coming again. All right, I'm inside of this room. Uh, where are you? I'm down here in this small room. All right, well, how do I help you? Dad, turn off the light. Turn off the light. Uh, okay, okay, okay. And yes, Titan Speaker Man. Dad, thank you so much for saving me. Yeah, no problem. Well, we have to get to the hospital fast. Your mom's having a baby. What? She's having it right now. Wait a second. Dad, this is the girl that kidnapped me. Hey, who? Who are you? I'm the grocery store worker, and you're not taking your son out of here. What? Why am I not taking him out of here? Because he stole from my store. Wait a second. You stole from her store? Yeah, Dad, I was trying to shop for the baby and Mom, but I didn't have any money. Look, I had to steal the shopping cart so Mom could put the baby in it, and I got some Doritos for the baby. Oh, tight speaker, man. I can't believe that you did that. You could have just asked me for some money. Well, uh, I'm sorry, Miss Lady. My son will never do that ever again. Now, could we please leave? No, you're not going anywhere, and if you do, you're going to get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, we'll just stay here. Don't worry. Dad, what are we gonna do? I don't know, Titan Speaker Man. Your mom is about to give birth to your brother. Well, uh, let me think. You have your speaker powers, right? Yeah, I do, Dad. All right, well, how about I use my TV powers and you use your speaker powers and we can knock her out? Wait a second. That's a great idea, Dad. Yeah, let's do it. And hey, girl, we have something to tell you. Oh, uh, what is it? You are going down. <sighs> Oh, my God. Yes, Dad, we're going to feed her. Now we got to go to the hospital fast. Mom's giving birth. Yeah, come on, quick. Let's go see your brother. Yeah, let's do this, Dad. Hurry, tight speaker, man. Hop in the car fast. All right, Dad. Yeah, now let's go to the hospital. Quick, get inside. Your mom's giving birth. All right, Dad, I'm going inside fast. Oh, my gosh. I wonder what my baby brother looks like. Let's go see. Hello, Mom. Son, here's your new baby brother. Oh, uh, Mom, why does he look like that? Uh, I don't know. He's just special. Oh, okay. Uh, hey there, baby brother. Oh, look how cute you are. Son, now 
now we just have to put a TV on your head. All right, class, today we're going to be doing mathematics. Oh, I love mathematics. And speaker Man, since you love math so much, do you know the answer to this question? The answer to this question, well, one plus one, huh? I think one plus one equals window. Uh, no, that is very incorrect. Oh, you're so dumb. Hey, TV Man, I'm not dumb. You're dumb. You didn't even get the answer correct. The answer is two. What? No, the answer isn't two. Well, actually, the answer is two. What? Are you serious? The answer is two? See, I told you you were incorrect. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I'm so much better than you at math. Are you serious? What? I'm not even that dumb. Oh, my gosh. Well, hey, teacher, give me another question. All right, what is nine plus ten? Nine plus ten, huh? Let me think. I think the answer to this equation is 21. What? Yeah. You can't be serious, speaker man. That is the wrong answer. Uh, no, TV man. It is not the wrong answer. Stop making fun of me. You are literally so dumb. The answer is 19, teacher. You are correct once again, TV man. What? Are you kidding me? That is not the correct answer. Well, sadly it is. Don't worry, speaker man. You'll get the hang of it. Oh, my gosh. You're so mean. I'm going to cry. All right, go cry, little baby. <laughs> You're such a meanie. Oh, my gosh. I hate him so much. I'm just going to go cry in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm so upset. Oh, hello there, Titan Speaker Man. Uh, who are you? I'm Skibbity Toilet. Oh, yes, yeah, Skibbity Toilet. Well, what are you doing in this toilet? Well, I'm a toilet, so I have to be in the bathroom. What, what brings you in today? Well, honestly, Skibbity Toilet, I'm just super duper sad because TV Man keeps bullying me. What? Titan TV Man keeps bullying you? Yeah, he is such a big bully, and he keeps calling me dumb. Well, why is he calling you dumb? Well, because I literally got the math equation wrong two times in a row. But don't worry, I have a way that can make you not as dumb. Wait, what? Do you really? Well, what is it? Well, since Titan TV Man is so smart, I can turn you into Titan TV Man. No way. Can you really? Yep, I sure can. All right, well, how? Well, what I need you to do is go ahead and sit on this toilet right here. Oh, uh, okay. I'll sit on the toilet. And when I flush the toilet, you should go down with it, and then you'll come back on this Titan TV Man. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, Skippy Toilet. All right, here goes nothing. Whoa. Oh, I feel kind of weird, Skippy Toilet. Wait a second. I'm TV Man now. Yep, you sure are. Thanks a lot, Skippy Toilet. Oh, my gosh. Now I can cause so much havoc and get revenge on him. But let's see. Is he still in school? Oh, I'm going to go to the pool and swim all day. Oh, my gosh. He's literally leaving right now. Okay, okay. Well, guys, say I'm literally going to pretend to be and I'm going to ruin his whole entire life. It's going to be so funny. But, uh -huh, what should I do first? Let me think. Uh, maybe I should steal his car first. Oh, my gosh. Look, he has such a tiny car right here. And I can literally hop inside it. I'm going to go drive to his house. And I'm going to prank his whole entire family as him. And, oh, my gosh. This is their house right here. And it's so big. Okay. Well, I'm just going to go up these stairs. And I'm going to sneak inside of the house. And hopefully none of his parents are home. And, oh, man. His dad is right there. Oh, man. I'm so tired. My back hurts so bad. Okay. Well, I'm just going to try to sneak in here. And, oh, my gosh. Gosh, they somehow don't see me. Oh, hey, Titan TV man. Oh, my gosh. They saw me. Uh, hey, guys. Yeah, I came home early today because uh, the school's out. Oh, school's out? Okay. Well, why does your voice sound way high pitched? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh, well, guys, they were having a party at school today, and I, I drank helium. What? How do you drink helium? You're literally a TV. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm sick, Dad. Oh, you're sick? Okay. Well, hopefully you feel better. Well, me and your mom are just going to relax on this couch. Okay, Mom and Dad, have fun. And, oh, my gosh. Okay, where even is my room? Let's see. Where could his room be? No, this is in his room right here. Well, maybe they have an upstairs area. Uh, hey, Mom and Dad, I'm just gonna head to my room. All right, have a fun time. Yep, I will. And okay, this is not my room. This is literally the bathroom. Come on, where is this? And what? Are you kidding me? Is this the only room here? Hey, um, guys, where's my room? Where's your room? What do you mean, where's your room? Oh, uh, sorry, Dad. I kind of forgot where it was. Oh, that's really weird. Well, uh, your room's right here. What? My room is right here? Yeah, we're TVs. You literally could sleep anywhere. What? Are you serious right now? I don't want to sleep on the ground, Dad. What, what do you mean? You've been sleeping here for three years. Oh, yeah, I guess I have. Silly me. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is so weird. Why does TV Man sleep on the ground outside? That's super duper weird. Well, Dad, honestly, uh, I'm kind of bored of being home right now, so I'm just going to drive around the neighborhood. All right, have a fun time driving around. Do not crash. Uh, okay, Dad, I won't trust me. Wait a second. That just gave me a good idea. What if I literally crash TV Man's car? I can literally destroy it. That would be hilarious. Okay. Well, I'm just going to drive around for a little bit, and then I'm going to crash it. This is going to be so funny, but... Honestly, first, I think I'm going to go stop at the grocery store and maybe I can prank some people here. All right, so I'm just going to go inside of the grocery store now. Hey, guys. Oh, TV man, welcome back. I guess it's your second time you've been here today. Oh, uh, hey, yeah, uh, yeah, that's my second time being here today. Oh, no. This is bad. TV man was literally here today. Uh, why do you sound so weird? Oh, uh, for no reason, Miss Lady. Oh, man. Hey, what's up, TV man? I just saw you at the pole. What the heck? Who even is this guy? Oh, uh, hey there. 
Sure. Are you still coming back to my house later tonight? Am I coming back to your house? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there. Don't worry. All right. See you then. Bye, Miss Grocery Store Worker. Bye there, Jeremiah. And phew, that was a close one. So I guess I have two things to do. I'm going to crash his car. And then after I'm done crashing his car, I guess I'll just go to that guy's house. Well, here, let me see. Maybe I can steal some stuff. That would be so funny. Okay, well, what is there expensive to steal? Let's see. Wait a second. These water bottles literally cost like $15 a pop. Okay, well, I'm just going to grab some of this and uh, I'm just going to sneak out. Uh, hey, lady. Oh, hey there, Cuban man. You must be loving that water a lot. Uh, yeah, I love this water. Yeah, it's your second time getting it today. How weird. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. Well, that'll be $15. $15, all right. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't even have any money. Uh, well, girl, wait a second. Look behind you. There's a scary monster. Oh my gosh, a scary monster. Where? Oh, okay, okay. I gotta run. See ya. Hey, come back. Here. No, you can't get me. Oh my gosh. I literally just stole from the store and this water bottle was $15. It's so expensive. Well, now I think I'm just gonna go crash this car and after that I can go to that guy's house and I wonder what's happening there. But, uh, where should I even crash this car? Let me think. Wait a second. What if I crash it in the pool? Okay. Well, wait a second. I think TV Man's actually there and eh, whatever. I'm just gonna run it straight into the pool. Yes, sir. Wait, the pool is so much fun. Well, wait a second. What is my car doing inside of here? Oh my gosh. Okay, he's actually here. I gotta run. Wait, is this even my car? Wait a second. It has the same license plate. It's my car. How did my car fall into the water? Oh my gosh. He just knows that his car's in the water. What do I gotta do? Wait a second. Is that my twin brother? What? He's looking at me. Oh, uh, hey there. Brother, no way. Is that actually you? I didn't know I have a twin brother. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're brothers. Wow, this is so amazing. Do you live in this neighborhood? Do I live here? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I live in the neighborhood. Well, we should totally be friends because we are literally like the same exact species. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess we can be friends. All right, yeah, let's be friends. You want to come to my friend Jeremiah's house later today? Jeremiah's house? Uh, yeah, sure. What's happening there? Oh, you know, we're just gonna have the best party ever. What? The best party ever? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. I'm down. All right, come with me. Uh, okay, yeah. When is this party? Well, we're celebrating his birthday, of course. What is his birthday today? Uh, okay. So let me ring the doorbell, Jeremiah. Are you home? Oh, hello. You must be Jeremiah's friend. Yeah, uh, hello there, Jeremiah's mom. We're here for his birthday party. Oh, well, you boys come right inside. All right, thank you so much. You can go ahead and go to Jeremiah's room. He will be here soon. All right, thanks a lot, Jeremiah's mom. Okay, well, let's head up to his room. I think his room is upstairs, and this is probably his room right here. Well, Jeremiah's has a cool room. Yeah, he sure does. Well, while we're waiting for Jeremiah's, how about we play a game? A game? Uh, yeah, sure. I guess we can play a game. All right, let's play Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare? Okay, sure. Well, who's going first? You're going first, obviously. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess I can go first. Well, I dare you to take off your helmet. What? Uh, no, no, no. My head doesn't come come off. Well, what do you mean your head doesn't come off? I thought it was like a costume or something. What? No. Why would this be a costume? Well, because you look exactly like me. Are you sure your TV can't come off your head here? Let me try to pull it off. No, 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 no. Do not try to All right, guys. Now is your time to hide. And I'm going to give you five seconds. Go. I have the best spot. Follow me, camera woman. Okay, TV woman. One, two, three, four, and five. Yes. Okay. I'm going to come find you guys now. Uh Okay, that was kind of weird. I think I might have just heard one of the girls scream. Well, whatever. Let me try to find them. Are they inside of this creepy room right here? No, they aren't. Well, huh. how about over here? And what the heck? This is super duper weird, guys. Where even are they? Well, I still have a few more spots to check. So let's see. Are they in here? Wait, what? Is this a secret room? Eh, it doesn't even seem like it opens. Well, there's a porty potty right here. So they may be hiding inside. Let me see. And wait, what? There's literally no one in here. I swear I heard the girls screaming from over here. Help us, speaker man. Wait a second, girls. Is that you? Yes, it's us. We fell into the toilet. Wait, what the heck? You guys are inside of there? Yeah, and now we're in some sort of dungeon. It's really deep down here. Wait, what? You guys are in a dungeon? Well, how do I get down there? I gotta save you guys. You have to jump through the toilet. I have to jump through the toilet? Are you serious right now? Oh, man. Well, guys, I guess I'm coming down. I'm gonna save you. Let's go. <sighs> Wait a second. Where am I? Wait, Skippy Toilet, what are you doing here? Where are my friends? Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. I kidnapped them. Well, why would you do that? Let them go now. Nope, they are both going to be my girlfriends. Oh, excuse me, Toy, can you please just give them back? Huh, let me think. Okay, how about this? You have to complete five challenges for me, and after you complete those challenges, you can only have one of your friends back. Wait, what? Only one of my friends? Yep, you have to choose to save TV Woman or Camera Woman. Well, what are you gonna do with the one I don't choose? Well, the one you don't choose is gonna be my girlfriend. Oh, excuse me, Toy, okay, well, at least I can save one of them. Well, excuse me, Toy, what are the challenges I have to do? Well, I I have placed five of my minions around Brookhaven. And you have to talk to each one and beat them in their challenge. When you complete all the challenges, come back to me and I will let you save one of your friends. Okay.
fucking skip me total. I'm on it. Well, where even is your first minion? My first minion is at Brookhaven Stable. He is waiting for you, so you better get over there, look at his plate. All right, skip me total. I'm on it, but how do I even get out of this place? Oh, well, there's actually a door right over here. Follow me. All right, skip me total. I'm on it. And guys, honestly, I don't know how I can only save one of the skibbity girls. They're both my friends, but huh, I'm just gonna have to think about it later. Uh, and I finally made it to Brookhaven Stables. And where even are you, skibbity toilet minion? <laughs> I have been expecting you. Oh, well, there you are, Skippy Toilet Minion. What do I have to do for the first challenge? Well, for the first challenge, you have to fight me. What? I have to fight you? Yep, you sure do. And if you beat me, you get to go to the next challenge. But if you fail, then you won't be able to save any of your friends. What if I feel I won't be able to save any of my friends? Yep, so if you want to save at least one of them, then you're going to have to beat all of my challenges. Well, Speaker Man, are you ready to fight? Oh, man, yeah, I'm ready to fight, and you're going down. All right, we'll see about that. Ha uh ha! -huh. Whoa, what? You're doing backflips and stuff. Ha <laughs> get over here. Stop being afraid. Oh, man. Okay, okay. I've never punched in my life, so I gotta do this fast. Uh, take this. Give me all this minion. You will never defeat me. Oh, yes, I will. Come here. Uh, 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 take that. Oh, that hurt. Uh, I'm gonna give you my final punch. Uh, take this. Oh. Titan Speaker, man. How did you just punch me so hard? Yes, I defeated the first Skippity Minion challenge. You sure did. Well, the next Skippity Minion is going to be at the school. Now, good luck finding him. Oh, my gosh, my back. Finding him? Okay. That is kind of weird. Maybe that next Skippity Minion is hiding from me. So, I'm gonna head to the school. And then I'm gonna search around for him. Uh, now that broke in school. So, let's see. Skippity Toilet Minion, where even are you? I'm gonna check every Every single one of these classrooms and maybe he's inside of one of these so let's see is he in english and nope he's not inside of there and he's not inside of the science room either and he's not inside of the gym well i'm pretty sure those were all the rooms on the first floor so i'm gonna check in the top floor and huh i don't see him right now but the only enclosed areas are the restroom so i'm gonna go check the boys restroom first and let's see it's gonna be told oh my gosh oh hello there Oh, uh, hey, Skippy Toilet Minion. I have been expecting you. Are you ready for your second challenge? Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Skippy Toilet Minion. Uh, I'm ready. All righty, get your running shoes on because you're going to have to get me. Wait, what, Skippy Toilet Minion? Where are you going? Ha, ha, ha. You will never get the next challenge. Oh, I'm going to catch up to you. Skippy Toilet Minion, get back here. Oh, no. Where did I go? Wait, what? Yeah, where did you even just go? I was hiding in the plant, silly girls. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, get over here. Stop running. Hey, tank this basketball. Ouch. Oh, my God. Stop chucking stuff at me. You will never catch me, and you will never find where the next Skibbity Minion is. Your friends are going to be trapped down there forever. Oh, Skibbity Toast Minion, I'm going to catch you. Oh, take this. Oh. And yes, I tackled him. And Skibbity Toast, you aren't going anywhere until you give me the next clue. Oh, okay. Well, here is where the next Skibbity Minion is. Let me go look at my paper real quick. Hi. Sorry, Mr. Skibbity Old Man. And uh, I actually need my glasses, so please give me a second. Bro, are you kidding me? All right, now I have my glasses. Okay, let's see what this says on this paper. Uh, it's really small, so I'm trying to read it. Okay, it says that you have to meet the next Skibbity Toilet Minion at the uh, abandoned building. Yes, okay, the abandoned building. The abandoned building? Where could that be? Uh, wait a second. That's where I played hide and seek. Like you played hide and seek there? Uh, yeah, that's literally how this whole entire thing happened. Oh, okay, how? Huh? That's really interesting. Well, uh, have fun then. All right, Mr. Skibbity Toast Minion and Kai's. I'm getting so close to rescuing one of my friends, but huh, which one should I even choose? Oh, no. This is such a hard choice. Well, I think I'm gonna have to choose later on, guys. And I'm back at the place, so let me go inside and, huh, where's the next Skippy Toilet Minion? Oh, hello, Skippy Toilet Minion. Where even are you? Is he behind this tree right here? And no, he's not even behind that tree. Are you kidding me? Well, I'm gonna check all around here and let's see. He's not in the toilet and wait a second. I didn't see this toilet here before. That's kind of weird. Boom. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? Hello there, tight speaker, man. I have been waiting for you. Bro, you're literally a tree. Are you serious? Okay. You must be skipping to a third minion. Well, what is my next challenge, mister? Well, as you can see, we are at the abandoned place. So for your third challenge, you have to beat me in a game of hide and seek. You will have 30 seconds to find me. And if you find me, then you will get your next challenge. Oh, well, I'm the hide and seek master, so this is going to be easy. All right, we'll see about that. Here, let me change real quick. Uh, okay. All right, now I'm ready to hide. Wait a second. What? You're Smurf Cat? Well, yeah, I can turn into anything. That's why I'm the master at hide and seek. We live, we love, we love. Uh, yeah. Guys, I cannot believe that tree just turned into Smurf Cat. That is so weird. Well, Mr. Smurf Cat, you can go hide now, and I'll count. One, two, three, four, five. And Mr. Smurf Cat, I'm coming to find you. All right, well, you're not going to be able to. What? Are you serious? All right. Well, I have 30 seconds to find him, so let's see. Is he inside of here? And no, he's 
not inside of here. Well, maybe this thing will open now. And no, that's not opening. Oh, man. Well, I have to go fast because I only have like 15 more seconds left. And he's not inside of this room. Well, maybe he's back over here in the toilet. Let me see it. No, he's not in the toilet. Oh, man. Well, maybe he's on the roof right here. No. Well, I haven't checked this area yet. So let's see. Is he getting this fire? No, he's not there either. Well, let's see. Where could he even be? Wait a second. Guys, I don't think Smurf can't use me. But look, I can literally see his toes right here. Okay. Well, I'm just going to tickle them real fast. And hello, Smurf Cat. I found you. Hey, who's tickling my toes? <laughs> I found you, Smurf Cat. What? Are you serious? Hey, that's not fair. Oh, my gosh. I shouldn't have turned into Smurf Cat. That literally gave away my whole entire hiding spot. Well, Speaker Man, congrats on finding me. Bro, what? You're among us now? Yeah, dude. I can literally shapeshift into any meme. Anyways, that's beside the point. Your next challenge is going to be at the campsite. You have to get there quick, though. Uh, all right, Mr. Among Us. I'll get there. See ya. See you later. And guys, that was my third challenge. And I'm about to head on to my fourth. And after this, I think I'm going to have to choose which Gibby girl I should save. Well, hopefully I can save both of them. I really got to start thinking of a plan. And if you, I made it to the campsite fast. Well, wait a second. What is my car doing here? Oh, hello there, speaker man. Hey, you must be Skippy Toilet's fourth minion. Yep, I sure am. Well, the reason why your car is here is because we're going to be doing a race. What, a race? Yep, and if you don't beat me in this race, then you are not going to be able to save any of your friends. Are you serious right now? Yep, I'm serious, so hopefully your car is fast enough because we literally took it out of your driveway. Yeah, I can tell. Well, I have the fastest car in all of Brookhaven, so I'm going to win. All right, we'll see about that, speaker man. And if you win, then you only have to go against one more minion to save one of your friends. Now, remember, you can't save both of them. Yeah, I know. And now let's get ready to race. All right, y'all give us the countdown. Three, two, one, go! And we're off in wait a second. What? How are you beating me? Because my car is the fastest in Brookhaven. Yours isn't. Oh, uh, well, trust me. I'm going to beat you. Hey, wait a second. How are you in front of me? Hey, get back here. <laughs> Take the L. Oh, no. I see the finish line right up there. You better not make it. Oh, trust me. I'm going to make it. Let's do this thing. Hey, why are you swerving in the road? Hey, let me pass you. Uh, get over here. Oh, no. You can't pass me. Hey, you're literally slowing me down. You better not make it to the end of the road. Come on. I'm so close to the finish line right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. And yes. I just won. What? Are you serious? You weren't supposed to beat this challenge. This was supposed to be the death of you. Oh, man. I can't believe it. Well, Speaker Man, you did win the challenge fair and square. So it seems like you'll be able to go to the fifth minion. Yes, I knew I did it. Well, Mr. Scary told us, minion, where is the fifth minion located? The fifth minion is going to be at the bank. The bank? Okay, that is pretty weird. What is he doing at the bank? I don't know. You're gonna have to go figure out. Okay, bye-bye. All right, well, see ya, Mr. Skippy Toys Minion. Thanks. I guess I'll just drive my car there. And now I made it to the bank, but why do I even have to be here? I mean, it doesn't seem like anything's happening. <laughs> Now it's time for me to escape. Wait a second. Hey, what's going on up here? Wait, what is Skippy Toilet's minion? That's my car. For your fifth challenge, you're gonna have to catch me and take the money back. What? How? I don't know. You're gonna have to think of a plan. Bye bye. Bro, are you serious? That's my car. Oh my gosh, guys, I gotta catch him somehow. But how can I do that? Uh, I want ice cream so bad. Wait a second now. Hey, girl, get back here real fast. Huh? What would you say, Mister? I said get off your bike. Hey, give me back my bike. Thanks a lot. I'll give it back after. I'm sorry. I feel so bad for the little girl, but I have to save the Skippy Girls. And where even did this guy go? Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. It seems like you found a bicycle. Yeah, I found a bicycle. Get over here. Oh, you're not going to catch me. Uh, trust me, I will. Yeah, we'll see about that. I'm going to run you over. Wait, what? Oh, no, you are. Oh, uh, you thought, boy. Get over here. Hey, no, you better not go anywhere. Give me that money. Nope, you have to catch me. Uh, take this. And yes, I got the money. And oh, uh, wait a second, I'll Mr. Are you there? Where is Skippy Toilet? I literally defeated all five of the minions. Well, you already know where he is. You were literally in his bunker. Oh my gosh, my back hurts so bad. Congrats on beating the five Skippy Toilet minions. Now you have to go save one of your friends. But remember, you can only save one of them. Wait, but what if I want to save them both? You already know that you can't save both of them, guy. Well, here, let me go talk to Skippy Toilet first. And hopefully I can make a plan to save them both. So let me go down here and Skippy Toilet. I completed all five challenges. So now let me get the Skippy Girls out of here. Well, Speaker Man, I told you, you can only get one of them out. So I'm going to let you inside of the room and you have to pick to save TV woman or camera woman. Now, good luck choosing speaker man because the one you don't pick is gonna be with me forever. Oh, man. All right, Skippy Toilet. And hey, girls. Wait, what? Are you guys all right? No, we're not all right, speaker man. We've been dropped on here for hours. Oh, man, guys. I feel so bad for you. Yeah, you should feel bad. Well, you can only save one of us, so who are you saving? Guys, honestly, this is a super hard choice, and I want to save you both. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna figure out how to save you both. Wait, what? How are you gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna look around and see what I can do. Just hang tight, guys. 
right, Speaker Man, hopefully you'll be able to do this because I really don't want to be Skibbity Toilet's girlfriend. Yeah, but I know. Well, let's see. There seems to be a wire right here. And, oh, uh, wait a second. I think this turns on your guys' lasers. So what if I take this gun right here and I shoot that box right there? Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe if you shoot the box, the lasers will turn off. Yeah, and you could save us both. Oh, yeah, I'm a genius. Well, here, let me grab the gun and I'm going to shoot the box. Oh, take this box. Oh, well, it works. Yes, well, guys, now we have to get out of here fast before Skibbity Toilet realizes. All right, well, Speaker Man, how are we supposed to do that? Well, Camera Woman, you're going to stay down here so Skibbity Toilet thinks I only chose one of you guys. And once Skibbity Toilet opens the hatch, you're going to run out and escape. All right, Speaker Man, that sounds like a plan. Well, I'm going to be hiding right here, and I'll run up right as he opens it. All right, yeah, you do that. Well, TV Woman, let's go up right now so you can get out of here. Okay, let's go. So let me open up the hatch real fast, and Skibbity Toilet, I have chosen TV Woman. All righty, Speaker Man, congrats on saving one of your friends. Well, it seems like Camera Woman is going to be my girlfriend then. Bye-bye. Ah, -bye. Uh, guys, let's get out of here. Yeah, well, let's run fast. Hey, get back here. Where are you going, camera woman? Everyone hop in my car. Let's escape. Oh, my gosh, speaker man. I can't believe that plan worked. You've really <laughs> saved both of us. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, guys. I'm glad both of you guys are safe. Guys, this party is so lit right now. Yeah, look at my dance moves. Oh, oh, oh. Well, TV man, those are awesome dance moves. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yours are also pretty good, TV woman. Aw, thank you, guys. Well, we've been dancing for a while now, guys, so do you want to play a game? Oh, yeah, I would love to play a game. Oh, well, sorry, guys. I actually can't. I gotta go. Wait, what? Uh, TV woman, why are you leaving? Wait a second, TV woman, get back here. We're supposed to be partying for the whole entire day. Dude, she's already gone. What the heck? That was the weirdest thing ever. She literally just got up and left. Yeah, I know, dude. That was super duper weird. I I wonder why she left. There's literally nothing that she has to do. Yeah, there sure is. And she literally told us earlier today that we were going to party all night, bro. Yeah, bro. Well, do you just want to go inside and play some games by ourselves or like dance or something? No, bro. I don't think we should do that. Honestly, I think that we should go follow her and we should go spot on her and figure out all of her secrets because I think she's hiding something from us. Wait, really? You think she's hiding something from us? Yeah, bro. I really think she is. No person will just stop partying mid party. Yeah, that is pretty true, Speaker Man. Well, we can't let her see us because we need to find out all of her secrets. So let's just go to her house and sneak. Around. Yeah, we sure can, bro. So you know what? I think we're gonna have to go to the disguise store, get some disguises. And after that, we can figure out where she is and spy on her. All right, Speaker Man, that's a good idea. Let's go to the disguise store. Yeah, let's go, bro. And now we're at the store. And wait a second, uh, little Timmy, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, bro. Uh, I actually work at this job now. Wait, what? You got fired from the other job? Uh, no, I didn't get fired from the grocery store. I just work like 50 jobs now. Holy macaroni, dude. That's insane. Yeah, I know it is. But uh, welcome into the store, guys. What do you guys need today? Well, Timmy, we're looking for a disguise. Uh, all right, what kind of disguise? Guys, do you guys need? Literally, like any disguise, little Timmy. Uh, okay, well, do you guys want to be in like a unicorn onesie or some girl clothes? Or maybe you could dress as a turtle. Uh, TV man, what do you think? Dude, I think we should do girl clothes or something like that. Because we'll probably blend in. What girl clothes, really? Oh my gosh, all right. Well, little Timmy, I think we need some girl clothes. All right, boy, that sounds good. Well, uh, go over there to the girl's clothes, Evan. You can try some on. All right, thanks a lot, little Timmy. And little Timmy, uh, I'll take the unicorn onesie. You just gonna give me the girl's clothes? Dude, the unicorn onesie is a girl clothes. Oh my gosh, bro. All right, well, here, let me put on some girls' clothes clothes real fast. Yeah, what the heck am I wearing? What even is this? Well, Speaker Man, you're looking really fancy. Dude, I cannot believe that girls wear these clothes. This is so weird. Well, we have to find out TV Woman's secrets. So you just have to dress up like that, bro. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, let me just put my onesie on. And there we go. Now I'm a unicorn. Your outfit is better than mine. Well, little Timmy, I guess we're ready to purchase these outfits. Well, guys, it's actually my birthday on the job today. And it says I can give someone a discount if I really want to. So you know what? I'm going to give you guys a discount. Everything is free. No, wait, really? Well, Timmy, thanks a lot, bud. Yeah, no problem, bro. Well, Alright, wish you guys the best of luck figuring out TV Woman's secret. Thanks a lot, bro. So, TV Man, let's go head over to her house so we can start spying on her. And hopefully we can figure out all of her secrets. Yeah, let's go. And, bro, now we're at her house and, wait a second, what is she doing right there? She's on the couch and, wait. Do you see what she's drinking, bro? Bro, are you serious? She literally left the party to drink a Frappuccino at home watching a pig on a TV. Well, bro, let's just spy on her and see what she does next. Oh my gosh, this Frappuccino is so good and that piggy is so cute, but my stomach is really starting to hurt. Uh oh I gotta go to the bathroom. Wait a second, bro. Why did she just run upstairs? Oh, no. I think she's going to the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, bro, did you just hear that? Yeah, I think she really had to go to the bathroom or something. But I wonder why. Yeah, me too, bro. Well, wait a second. She was drinking a Frappuccino. Oh my gosh, I think I'm lactose intolerant. Wait a second. What did she just say? She said she's lactose intolerant. What does that mean? Uh, dude, I'm pretty sure that means when you drink milk, you really have to go take a massive poop. What? Are you serious, Speaker Man? Yeah, bro, I'm actually totally serious. Well, why did she come home and decide to drink a Frappuccino just so she could go to the bathroom? Bro, honestly, I have no idea, but at least we figured out one secret that she has. But 
I'm still thinking that she has a lot more. Yeah, I think that too. So let's try to figure out all of well, them. Well, Speaker Bear, we can't really see much from this window. So how about we sneak inside? Bro, what? You want to sneak inside of here? Yeah, I mean, she's in the bathroom right now. So let's go. Come on. We don't have much time. Yeah, bro. That's true. Wait a second. What? We can literally just walk inside of her door. Oh, man. Her door isn't even locked. Okay, bro. Here, let's just sneak into her bedroom real fast and perfect. Now we can spot on her even better. Hopefully, we can figure out more secrets about her. Yeah, hopefully we can, bro. And hopefully she gets out of that bathroom soon. Yeah, hopefully she does. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad that thing is all over. But now we have to go meet up with a secret boy. Wait a second. Did you just hear it, bro? A secret boy? Are you serious? Okay, speaker man. That just really got me angry, bro. A secret boy? What is she going to do with that secret boy? She better not be going on a date. Yeah, bro. But there's only one way to find out. We have to go follow her. <sighs> all right, bro. Well, I'll try not to get angry, but I might actually get really angry. Yeah, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Here, let's sneak outside real fast. And let's see if the coast is clearing, bro. Okay, it is. Well, we're going to have to run out there and hopefully she hasn't left yet because we're going to have to follow her car. So let's go outside and let's see. Wait a second, bro. She's driving away right now. All right, perfect. We need to follow her car. Yeah, we sure do. Look, she's going this way. Oh my gosh. I wonder where she's going. Yeah, me too. Hopefully she's not going to Brooks Diner. I can't wait to go to Brooks Diner to go on this date. Wait a second. Did you just hear that? Oh my gosh. She's going on a date with somebody. Bro, I feel so bad for you. I'm sorry that she's cheating on you. And she's also going to Brooks Diner. Oh my gosh. But we still have to spy on her because we have to figure out more stuff that she's hiding from us. Yeah, bro. We have to figure out all of her secrets. So let's go to Brooks Diner. And bro, now we're at Brooks Diner. So let's go spy on her. Speaker man, honestly, I don't want to spy on her for this one because I do not want to see her cheating on me. Bro, what? Are you kidding me? But you're literally my right hand man. Well, Speaker man, I don't want to see my girlfriend sitting with some random person. She's literally my girlfriend, bro. That's really going to hurt my feelings. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess it will, bro. All right. Well, you can go somewhere else, but I'm still going to spy on her. All right, I'll just be waiting at the pool then. Come out whenever you're done. All right, bro. I'll let you know. Well, guys, now let's go over here and let's go see. Wait a second. Is that Skibbity Toilet? And wait, what? TV Woman? No way. TV Woman's cheating on TV Man. It was Skibbity Toilet. Oh, hey there, Skibbity Toilet. You're looking really nice today. Oh, you're looking really nice also, TV Woman. Well, I'm so happy that you decided to go on this date with me. We are going to have so much fun. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is happening. Yeah, I can't wait to do that thing later today. Wait a second. What thing are they talking about? Huh, this is really, really suspicious. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait for it to happen. Well, Skibbity Toilet, now that we planned that thing for later today, I'm going to go back home. Wait a second. You don't want to eat any food? Uh, no. I'm going to go home and prepare for the thing that's happening later today. Oh, uh, okay, TV Woman. Well, uh, good luck. Wow, she is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh, guys. I cannot believe that just happened. She's going home right now. Oh, my gosh. She's right there. And phew, she passed me. Okay. As I was saying, I cannot believe that just happened. I really wonder where the thing is later today. Uh, hey, there's Skibbity Toilet. Uh, Speaker Man, what are you doing? And why are you dressed as a girl? For no reason, okay? Oh, okay, Speaker Man. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, wait, what the heck? Okay, guys, that was kind of weird. Why did he just laugh like that? All right, whatever. Well, I'm going to head over to the pool so I can tell TV Man about what just happened. And then we're going to go back to finding secrets about her. So, hey, TV Man, bro, I have an update for you. Oh, what happened, Speaker Man? Tell me, bro. So, dude, when I was following them, Skibbity Toilet and TV Woman said they're going to be doing something later today. What? It was Skibbity Toilet? And they're going to be doing something later today? Oh, my gosh, what could they be doing? That sounds so sus. Yeah, dude, it sure does sound sus. Well, I guess we're just going to have to wait to find out. But in the meantime, bro, let's go back to TV Woman's house so we can figure out more of her secrets. Yeah, that's a good idea, Speaker Man. Let's go. And bro, we're back in her house. Yeah, so let's just go up to this window and spy on her and see what she's talking about. The first thing I gotta do to prepare for the big thing today, I gotta go gun shopping. Wait a second. She has to go gun shopping? What big thing are they preparing for? Dude, I have no idea. But well, that is even more suspicious than wait a second, bro. She's leaving right now. Quick, hide in the trees. Okay, phew. I don't think she saw us. Yeah, me neither, bro. But wait a second. We gotta go follow her to the gun store. Yeah, quick. Let's follow her. And bro, look. She's walking inside right now. Oh my gosh, this is so bad, dude. I really wonder why she's purchasing this gun. Yeah, me too. You know what, Speaker Man? I'm fed up with this. I'm going to go confront her. Whoa, wait. No, 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 bro. You cannot confront her. We still have to figure out all of her secrets and what the big thing is happening later today. Oh, okay, Speaker Man. Well, let's just see what she's doing up here. All right, yeah, bro. Let's see. Hello, I would like one gun, please. All righty. What kind of gun do you want? Uh, I was thinking maybe a shotgun. Oh, uh, a shotgun? Are you serious? A shotgun? What the heck? What could she be using this for? I have no idea, bro. All righty. One shotgun. Shotgun, come right up. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Telecom Man. Get, oh my gosh, bro, she's coming down. Quick, hide. Hurry, get out of your speaker, man. Oh, no. <laughs> I cannot wait to use this bad boy. Bro, did you just hear that? She just said she cannot wait to use this bad boy. But oh, no, we have to watch out. She's going to see us. If you, I don't think she did, bro. But wait a second, bro. Where is she going? I have no idea, bro. Here, let's follow her. Oh, my gosh, she's literally running all over the place. And I think she's teaming up with Skibbity Toilet to do something really bad later, bro. Yeah, bro, I think that too. Well, bro, her car's right here, so that must mean she's back here in this alleyway. Yeah, she's she probably is, but bro, we can't go back there because she's gonna see us. So let's just sit right here and see what she's talking about. Yeah, bro, good idea. Hello, are you the person I buy the tank from? Yep, I 
I sure am. All right, perfect. I would like one of your strongest tanks that you have. Wait a second, bro. Do you hear her? Is she buying a tank right now? Why does she need a tank? This is really suspicious, dude. All right, it's going to be $1 million. Ooh, that is a little pricey, but luckily I have the money. Uh, what the heck? How she have the money? I don't even know, dude. I think it's like Skibbity Toilet's money or something. Yeah, it probably is, bro. All right, perfect. Well, here are the keys to the tank, and you can pick it up at the car dealership. All right, thank you so much. Hey, bro, she's coming around fast. Hide. Oh, my gosh, bro. How did she see us? And look, oh, my gosh. Okay, thankfully, she did not see us. Yeah, thankfully, she didn't. Well, bro, that was literally like five secrets we've already just found out. Yeah, bro, and they're all adding up to something. This is really suspicious. At first, she was drinking a Frappuccino on a couch, and she was lactose intolerant. And then we figured out that she went on a date with Skibbity Toilet. And then she bought a gun, and now she bought a tank. Yeah, bro, they also said that something's gonna happen later today. And I'm assuming that it involves the guns and the tanks. Yeah, bro, me too. Well, let's just keep following her and investigating. And then when the time comes, we're gonna have to stop her shenanigans. Yeah, we're gonna have to, bro. Let's go. And it seems like she's at the car dealership. Okay, quiet down. All right, bro. Well, let's see. Wait a second. The tank is right there, and there she is. And perfect. I have the last piece to my puzzle. Time to initiate the plan. Wait a second. You just hear her, bro? She's initiating the plan here, hi. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that she's in the tank right now. Yeah, and where is she going? Oh, no. She said she's initiating the plan. Yeah, and wait a second, bro. She's going towards our houses. Oh, my goodness, bro. This is bad. Yeah, dude, it sure is here. Let's go see her car real fast, and let's follow her. Hopefully, my house isn't going to get harmed. Wait a second. We're stealing her car? Yes, bro. It doesn't matter. Let's go. Hey, bro, look. Wait a second. Why is she outside of my house? Oh, no, bro. And she literally just went inside. Dude, this is so weird. What is she doing inside of there? I don't even know, bro. And why do you have your door unlocked? She literally just walked inside. Bro, honestly, I don't even know. I swear I always lock it. Wait a second, bro. What if she's meeting up with Skibbity Toilet at my house? Uh, bro, why would Skibbity Toilet be inside your house? That literally makes no sense. Oh, hey there, TV woman. Oh, hey, Skibbity. It's so great to see you. Wait a second, bro. Bro, do you just hear that? I'm pretty sure Skibbity Toilet is inside of my house. Bro, how did he even get inside of your house? Dude, I don't even know. I think he, like, broke the lock in my door or something. All right, well, quick, let's get inside and let's go spy on that. Yeah, bro, that's a good idea. Well, TV woman, are you ready to initiate the plan of destroying Toilet City? Yep, I'm so ready. Let's do it. Dude, oh my gosh. Even man, we have to stop her right now. Yeah, bro, they said that they're gonna destroy Toilet City. This has been her secret all along. Yeah, bro, this is literally her final secret. There are literally, like, seven secrets we found. Oh my gosh. Well, bro, you go inside the room and confront them. And I'll stand out the door to make sure they don't escape. All right, bro, yeah, you do that. So I'm just gonna walk up in. Hey, guys. What are you doing inside my house? Oh, hey there, speaker man. We were just in your house to say one last goodbye to it because we were gonna explode it with a tank. Huh? What? Are you kidding me? No, we're not kidding you. We have a tank outside of your house. Yeah, I saw. I cannot believe this is happening. You know what? I literally came here to stop you guys. Uh, speaker man, you don't have a gun or anything. How are you gonna stop us? Well, it doesn't seem like that you guys have a tank anymore. Wait a second. Who just said that? Was that TV man? No way. I'm pretty sure TV man just stole your guys' tank. Oh my gosh, my precious tank. Ha uh ha, -huh, see ya. Oh my gosh, no, our tank, come back. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that that just happened. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, how did you know about our plan? Because we were spying on TV One all day to figure out all of her secrets. And we figured out that you guys were planning something. We also figured out that she was lactose intolerant. What? No one is supposed to know my biggest secret. Wait a second. <laughs> and I won. Yes, sir. Bro, what? Oh, you always beat me. Yeah, I know. Well, whatever, Speaker Man. I'm getting a little bit hungry. I'm just going to go make something to eat. All right, bro. But wait a second. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in my fridge. Yeah, what the heck? Why don't you have any food inside your fridge? Well, dude, because because all I eat is apples and bananas. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, you love bananas so much. Well, since you don't have any food, let's just go to the grocery store and then we can get some. Oh, honestly, dude, that's a good idea, but wait a second, TV Man. I literally do not have any money, bro. What? You don't have any money? I don't have any money. Then how are we gonna get the snacks? Are we gonna steal or something? Honestly, Speaker Man, I think Timmy's working there today, so I don't think he'll care. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't care. Well, TV Man, let's head to the grocery store and let's steal some snacks. And now we're at the grocery store. Hey, Timmy. Oh, hey there, bro. Hey, hello, Timmy. Don't mind us. We're just getting some snacks here. I'm just is gonna be playing video games on my grocery store computer. Bro, what the heck? Okay. Oh, well, TV man, what snacks should we get? Should we get some Doritos? Yeah, let's get some Doritos and let's also get some pizza. Oh my gosh, I love pizza so much. Yeah, me too, dude. Well, let's get even more Doritos and huh, let's see what beverages do they have. Look at this. There's an energy drink. Oh my gosh, that looks so delicious. Okay, I'm grabbing one of these. Yeah, me too. And oh my goodness, dude, look, Coca Cola. Just be quiet. You're really loud. Okay, I'm sorry, dude. Well, TV man, let's just walk back here and hopefully the store's open. Let's see. Can we get out of here? Oh, Oh my gosh, Timmy Man, come quick. Oh my gosh, okay, hopefully Timmy doesn't see us. Ah, uh, wait a second, guys, where do you just go? Uh-oh, I think he realized that we're gone. Uh, what are you guys doing inside of here? Well, hey there, little Timmy, uh, we're doing nothing, bro. Oh, uh, 
yeah, bro, we're doing nothing. Hey, wait a second, bros. What do you have inside of your hands? Oh, uh, this? Yeah, nah, yeah. This is nothing, bro. I think we already had this from our house, right? Oh, uh, yeah, we actually bought this from our house, little Timmy. We didn't steal from your store or anything. Ah, uh, bros, are you sure about that? Because I literally saw you guys on the security cameras taking everything. I was not playing video games on my computer. I'm not even able to do that. Instead, I was literally spying on the cameras. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, well, uh, Timmy, it's not what it looks like. We thought this was the entrance to leave the store. Yep, yep, uh, we sure did, and we were about to pay. All right, guys, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Now come back inside and pay for the groceries. Oh, uh, okay, little Timmy, yeah, well, I guess we can go pay now. Well, uh, Speaker Man, what are we gonna do? Dude, I think we're gonna have to make a run for it. All right, I'll distract him, and you take all this stuff. All right, bro, I will. Come on, guys, pay already. All right, little Timmy, here I come. So, uh, how much is it gonna be, little Timmy? Well, it seems like it's gonna be about $30. $30? Okay, I don't have that money. See ya. Hey, wait a second, where are you going? Speaker Man, you weren't supposed to say that out loud. Yeah, I'm calling the cops on you guys. Wait, what the heck? You're calling the cops? Yep, I'm calling the cops. Oh my gosh, this is not good at all. All right, well, uh, I gotta go, little Timmy. See ya. Hey, get back here, bro. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, we gotta hide fast before the cops arrest us and bring us to prison. Speaker Man, why would you do that? Bro, what? What else was I supposed to do? I said I was gonna distract him and you would run out silently. And you literally screamed and said you didn't have enough money, bro. Oh my gosh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. And dude, I have a bad feeling that we're about to get arrested. Yeah, me too. We will, we will. You guys are under arrest. Wait a second. I think I heard that voice before, bro. Oh, no. Don't tell me it is. What? Speaker Man and TV Man? What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. It's TV Woman. Wait a second. Uh, TV Woman, why are you a police officer? Because that's my new job. No, why have you robbed the grocery store? Well, we were pretty hungry and we had no money. So we had to steal from the grocery store. Oh, man. Well, I'm so sorry to tell you guys. We guys are both under arrest and going to jail. So hop in my police car. Wait, what? We're both actually under arrest? Wait a second. Are you serious, TV Woman? Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that we're going to jail. Sorry, guys. I just have to do my job. Oh, man. It's all right, TV Woman. Oh, we're in jail. Do you think we should try to escape? Yes, yeah, Speaker Man. Let's try to escape. That is such a great idea. And, guys, now we are here. Oh, well, all right. Uh, Speaker Man, there's a lot of barbed wire here, bro. Yeah, there sure is. Well, dude, I think we should just hop out and make a run for it. All right, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, ready? Three, two, one, go. Yeah, let's go. Ha, ha. See you, TV Woman. Hey, guys, get back here. I'm going to tase you. Wait, what the heck? You're going to tase us? Okay, okay. Do not tase us, TV Woman. Please do not do that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, you guys have to go into the jail. Wait a second. Did you just lock the gate on us? Oh, my goodness, bro. Oh, I guess we're just going to have to try escaping later. Yeah, bro. We have to find some different ways. Come on, boys. I don't have all day. Okay, TV Woman. Okay, we're following you. Don't worry. All right, guys. Well, welcome to your new home. Wow, this home is so cozy. Now, sit down so I can take your mugshot. Oh, all right. Well, I guess we're going to get our mugshot photos taken. That's correct. Now, don't smile. Okay, I won't smile. And there you go. Now, you are a new member for the jail. Yep, I guess I'm a new member of the jail. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. I knew we shouldn't have robbed that place. Bro, well, I should have said it. All right, and you're all a new member of the jail. Hooray! Oh my gosh, TV Woman. Well, TV Woman, is there any way that you can get us out of here? Like, we have to go home and live our lives. Come on. Yeah, TV Woman, help us. No, sorry. I cannot do that. I am a member of society and I have to keep you in the jail. Dude, honestly, I think she's gonna try her hardest to keep us in jail. Yeah, bro, it sure does seem like that. Well, guys, it's time to go into your cell and don't even think of escaping. Uh, all right, TV Woman. Well, let's see. Where are our jail cells? Your cell is just this way. Uh, all right, I get cell 11 and TV Man, do you get the cell with? Me? Yep, you guys have to be in a cell together. What? Are you serious? Hey, I own my own cell. Sorry, but we don't have any room. We cannot do that. Oh my gosh, TV Woman. I can't believe that she turned into a police officer, dude. Now we're literally stuck in TV Woman's prison. Yeah, we sure are, and dude. We're gonna have to try to escape out of here. Yeah, because we cannot live here for the rest of our lives. But look at this, Speaker Man. Look at what I have. Bro, what? You got the Doritos? Wait a second. I do as well. Yes, sir. So I guess as long as we have Doritos inside of this jail, then we'll be fine. Yeah, dude, but honestly, I think we should start trying to escape out of here because I do not want to stay in here for long. Hey, you're not allowed to have forbidden items. Wait a second. Uh, TV Woman, what are you saying? Those chips are not permitted for the jail. Wait a second. You're gonna take my Doritos away from me? No, hey, hey, hey. Yes, both of you. Empty all your pockets. What? Empty our pockets? Oh, man. All right. Well, it seems like I have to get rid of my Doritos, pizza, energy drink, and Coca-Cola. Yeah, mine too. Here you go, TV Woman. Thank you so much. Yep, no problem. But don't worry, boys. Dinner 
will be soon. Oh, dinner will be soon. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so disgusting. Well, let's try to find a way out of here, dude. I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, me neither. Well, here, let's check the toilet real fast. And no, the toilet does not malfunction. Well, here, maybe there's a secret hole under the bed. And no, nope. there's literally no secret hole under the bed, dude. Well, maybe there's like an air vent. Nope, there's not even an air vent. Oh my gosh. There is literally no way to get outside of this prison. They made this really well. Yeah, they sure did. But, dude, we have to keep on trying. And hopefully, soon we'll be able to get out. Yeah, well, uh, maybe we could call Skibbity Toilet, like, through the toilet or something. Oh, Skibbity Toilet! Uh, dude, I don't think that's how it works. Oh, uh, whatever. Well, since we have no way to get out, I guess we'll just sit here and wait. Really? All right, dude. Well, dinner is gonna happen sooner or later, so we might as well just wait. Attention, everyone! It's time for dinner! Wait a second. You hear that, bro? It's already time for dinner! Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited! I wonder what we're gonna eat. Is it gonna be a steak and mashed potatoes? Oh, my gosh. That'd be so delicious. Or maybe it's gonna be chicken and gravy! Uh, boys, don't get your hopes up. This food isn't very good. Ew, what in the heck is that? Wait a second. We have to eat this. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's your yummy, yummy dinner. Oh, uh, TV woman, this does not look yummy at all. It looks like poo and broccoli. Yeah, and nobody likes broccoli. Well, it's actually toast, mashed potatoes, asparagus, and chicken. You guys are lucky you actually get food. Some of these prisoners don't. Wait, are you being serious? Uh, okay. Well, uh, TV woman, how about this? After we eat our food, you tell us how to get out of here and we just escape. Yeah, can you do that for us? Uh, no, that's not how prison works. Oh my gosh, TV man. You can't keep asking her if we can escape. Because she's never gonna let us. Yeah, bro, I guess that's true. But I'm just literally trying to find any way that we could get out of here. Yeah, that's a good idea, Walt, bro. I think we should start out in the showers. And maybe there's like a secret vent in here. Let's see. Oh, well, it seems like they actually built this pretty well. Yeah, they sure did. There's no secret vents anywhere in here. Oh, man. Well, let's keep on checking around. Hopefully, we can find somewhere to escape soon. Yeah, maybe we could check the trash cans. Maybe there's like a ladder inside of here. What? A ladder? Are you serious, bro? Why would there be a ladder inside of the trash can? Oh, uh, I don't know. I was just making an assumption. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything in these trash cans. All there is is literally barf. Oh, my gosh. That smells so bad. Oh, yeah. It sure does. Well, wait a second. Look right here. There's a kitchen, so maybe we can walk inside of the kitchen. And maybe there's like an exit in here. Wait a second, Speaker Man. That's a great idea. Okay. Well, let's just walk inside of here and oh my gosh. Dude, there are literally so many boxes and wait a second. Why is the ceiling so high? Oh my goodness. Look. There is a ventilation system. Yes, let's go. Wait a second, boys. Why are you in the kitchen? Wait a second. How do you know that we're here? Because I heard you scream, TV man. You're so loud. Oh my gosh. I shouldn't have done that. Wow, thanks a lot, TV man. We were so close to escaping. Wait, you guys are trying to escape? What? No, we're not trying to escape. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are not trying to escape. We were just coming inside of here so we could get some boxes and open up some more food and eat some more food because I was really hungry and I needed to poop and I needed to fart. Yeah, I agree with what he said. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but that's not how prison works. Oh, wait a second. You're gonna put us in handcuffs? Yes, you guys are going back to your jail cell. Don't ever try to escape. Hey, let me go. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. This is happening right now. And you guys are both gonna be in different jail cells this time. Could you guys keep trying to escape? Wait, what? Are you kidding me? No. Hey, wait, no. I wanna be in a jail cell with Speaker Man. Well, you guys have shown me that you can't do that. Oh my gosh, you're literally the worst cop in the world, TV woman. Well, sorry. You should not break any laws. Oh man, I cannot believe that we're back in the jail cells. Well, TV woman, when is the next time that we can come out of here? Well, in a few minutes, you guys can go to the courtyard and play some basketball. In a few minutes? Oh, all right. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to sit here and wait until it's time. All right, and you guys don't ever think about escaping because you're gonna be locked up here for a whole entire year. What? A whole entire year? Oh, man. Oh, guys, little does she know that TV Man and I are gonna try to escape. What's this time to go to the courtyard? Hey, Speaker Man. Wait a second. Is that you? Yes, it's me. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you through the walls. Well, do you have any plans to sneak out of here? I was thinking once it's time for us to go to the courtyard, that we can go in there and then climb over the humongous wall. All right, Speaker Man, that's a good idea, but there's also barbed wire, so we have to be careful. Yeah, we sure do. And if that doesn't work, I think we should try the kitchen way again. All right, yeah, that's a good idea. All right, boys, it's time to go to the courtyard. Wait a second, already? Yep, I only said it was gonna be a few minutes. Uh, all right. Well, TV Man, let's go to the courtyard and let's try to hop the fence. Yeah, let's do it, Speaker Man. And welcome to the courtyard. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Dude, these walls are so big. But we still have to try to get out of here, and if this doesn't work, we're gonna have to try to escape through the kitchen route. Yeah, these walls are literally gigantic, dude. I don't know how we're gonna be able to get out of here. Well, uh, thank you so much, TV Woman. We're gonna play some basketball now. Okay, you boys better behave. All right, yeah, we will. Well, TV Man, let's look around the courtyard. And let's see if we can escape. Well, wait a second. Look right up there. There's a literally door there, so maybe I can, like, bounce her ahead, and then I can open the door, and then I can get you out of here. All right, that's a good idea, Speaker Man. Yeah, try to jump on 
my head, bro. All right, but wait a second. I can't jump on your head. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. Maybe we can climb up this basketball hoop. Okay. Yeah, let's try it. Wait a second. We can't. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Whoa, hold on. We have basketballs in our hands, so maybe we can shoot it at the door, and then the door will open. But, Speaker Man, how are we supposed to get up there after the door opens, bro? Uh, honestly, I got no idea. Well, Speaker Man, these walls are way too high. I thought they were going to be way shorter. So, it doesn't seem like the courtyard strategy is going to work after all. Which means that we have to go back to the kitchen, but we have to be very, very sneaky this time. Yeah, we sure do. Because I do not want to be in here anymore, dude. I'm literally losing my mind. Yeah, well, let's try to sneak to the kitchen. And hopefully, we don't get caught while escaping. All right, yeah, let's go. All right, so let's just sneak out here real fast and let's see if the coast clear. And yeah, it is. All right, perfect. Well, here, let's go ahead to the kitchen real fast and make sure to be quiet. Because we're literally bad at escaping here. Let me pick my head inside of the kitchen. And oh my gosh, there's no one in. Come on, fast. All right, Speaker Man, I'm not going to yell this time. All right, yeah, you better not. Well, let's hop in this vent real quick. And oh my goodness. We can literally get out, bro. Uh, Speaker Man, there seems to be an issue. Shh, dude, quiet down. What is it? I'm too tall to get inside of the vent, dude. Just squeeze inside. I'm trying, but it's literally so hard. Okay, let me try to get inside. And, uh, All right, I made it through. Don't worry. I'm not worrying, dude. Whoa, oh, my gosh. What the heck just happened? I literally fell all the way to the ground, bro, in this muddy pit. Oh, this is so disgusting, but I do not think this is a muddy pit. I think this is literally poop. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I guess that's where all the poop ends up. Well, here. Grab a flashlight from the ground, and let's try to get out of here. Yeah, let's look around. Oh, my gosh. This is literally amazing. Dude. Yeah, it sure is. Well, look, there's a vent right here, so maybe we can hop inside of here. And oh man, where even are we right now? I think we're in like an air conditioning room. Yeah, I don't even know, Speaker Man. Well, let's see. Is there a door? And okay, there's a door. And dude, this would literally bring us right back to the jail cell. So let's not go inside of there. Let's go back into the vent. Well, we have to get out of here fast before TV woman figures out that we're not there. Oh, uh, Speaker Man. Shh, dude, quiet down. Come over here, bro. We can get out. Wait, what the heck? We can get out? Uh, all right, where? Look at this. There's literally an elevator. You ran right past it. Well, dude, how are we supposed to get in? Look, it literally requires a key card. Well, Speaker Man, when we were in the courtyard, you said you could use the ball to open up the door. So uh, I decided to bring a ball with Wait, me. Wait, what? You brought a ball with you? Well, I did too. Oh, well, uh, great might think alike then. So I guess if we just throw it at the lock right here, it should just open. Yeah, let's try and wait a second. Oh my goodness, it worked! Yeah, Speaker Man, we're gonna escape TV Woman's prison! Shh, dude, be quiet. Uh, boys, quit your time is done. Uh, where did they go? Oh my gosh, dude, I think she just realized. Oh no, this is not good, Speaker Man. Well, uh, we gotta get going. Well, dude, let's head to the bottom floor fast. Code red, code red, lock down the prison. Wait a second, they're locking down the prison. We gotta get out of here, come on. Oh my gosh, bro, run, run, run. <laughs> and yes, we made it outside, but wait, we still gotta get over these fences somehow. Oh no, okay. Well, uh, let's see, how can we get over? Oh no, this is so bad. Here, I'm gonna try to jump over. No, I can't jump over. Wait a second, look right here. Maybe we can jump over here. And wait, what? No. Oh no, Speaker Man, this is bad TV. Well, it's right there. Hey guys, where do you think you're going? Well, I have a basketball, so I'm gonna chuck it right here. And it'll be the Gate quick, let's go! Oh my gosh! No, 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 get back here! I don't want to get fired! Well, TV woman, it seems like you're gonna get fired today. Your prison is horrible! What? Yes, Titan Speaker Man has been born. You're gonna have such a great life. Yes, Mom, I'm gonna have the best life ever! Did I just hear that Titan Speaker Man was born? Hey, where are you going? I'm gonna kidnap your son! No, Mom, save me! Speaker Man, come back! Ah, Mom, help! Oh, I'm taking your son. Wait a second. Huh? Take that! Oh! Oh my gosh, Mom, thank you so much for saving me. Now, quick, son, we gotta get home fast before he wakes up. Oh, all right, Mom, wait, who even is that guy? His name is Skibbity Toilet. He's my worst enemy. Oh my gosh, well, what are we supposed to do about him? When you get older, you have to train to defeat him. What, I'm gonna have to train to defeat him? Oh my gosh, Mom, all right, well, I'll train to defeat him so I can save you, Mom. All right, son, but for now, we gotta go back to our house. All right, Mom, let's go do it. And finally, we made it home. All right, Mom, and well, this house is so awesome looking. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be told it won't be able to find us here. Yeah, hopefully it won't, Mom, because if he does, that'll be super bad. You guys thought you could hide? Ha, ha, ha. Tank mode activated. Um, uh, Mom, who is that? Is that Skippy Toilet in a tank right there? Yes, he's found us. Oh, Skippy Toilet, take that. Oh, uh, the sound waves. Holy mackerel, Mom. Destroy Skippy Toilet. He has to get out of here. Well, I'll be back to take over the world. Wait, what? Did he just say he's gonna take over the whole entire world? Yes, son. That's why when you get older, you're you're gonna have to be able to defeat him. Oh my gosh. All right, Mom. Well, that's super bad. So I guess when I'm older, I'm literally gonna train so much. And then I'm gonna defeat Skinny Toilet and save the whole entire world. Well, right now, I'm just a baby, so I can't really do much. Yeah, you can't. And it's getting late, so it's your bedtime. Come on, let's go inside. Wait, what? Mom, it's my bedtime. Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh. All right, well, I guess I'll just go upstairs. And uh, is my bedroom up here? Yes, your bedroom is up here. Oh, all right. Do I get this humongous?
longest bedroom right here. No, no, no. You got this bunk bed in here. Wait, what? Are you serious? A small bunk bed? Oh, my gosh, Mom. All right. Well, I guess I'll just go to bed. And once I get older, Mom, I can literally train to the feed skippity toilet and save the whole entire world. Yes, you can, buddy. Now go to bed. Uh, all right, Mom. Good night. Uh, good morning, world. Today is going to be so awesome. But first, I have to go downstairs and say good morning to my mom. Hello, Mom. Good morning. What's for breakfast? Oh, good morning, Titan Speaker Man. Uh, I don't have any breakfast in the fridge. So you're going to have to go run to the store. What, Mom? You don't have any breakfast in the fridge? You literally say the last one. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I guess I'll just go run to the store. Wait a second. What the heck is that? Open on up, Titan Speaker Man. Oh my gosh, Mom. Skimmy Trolley came back with like five tanks. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Wait a second, Mom. Since I'm older now, I can literally try to defeat him. Uh, I'm going to get you, Skimmy Toilet. No, you're not strong enough yet. Oh, oh, oh take that. Uh, oh my gosh, Mom. That hurt. Oh no, Speaker Man. Oh, 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 my work here is done. See you later. Speaker Man, are you all right? Mom, look at me. Do you think I'm all right? I'm literally hurt on the ground right now. Oh, my gosh. Well, okay. We're going to have to go to the hospital. I told you you weren't strong enough yet. Yeah, I know, Mom. But maybe once I get out of the hospital, you can treat me to the feet. Skip me toilet. Oh, yeah. I guess I can. But for now, we just got to go to the hospital and get you better. Yeah, all right, Mom. Yeah, let's go to the hospital. Doctor, please help him. All right. What seems to be the issue here? Oh, nothing, really. I only just got shot by a humongous tank. What? You got shot by a tank? Hank, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious right now. Okay, oh no, this is really bad. Uh, follow me to this room right here, and I'm gonna fix you on up. Don't worry. Doctor, is he gonna be alright? Uh, I'm not really sure, but uh, I think he will. Yeah, hopefully I will, because I really kind of trained to defeat Skibbity Toilet. Wait a second, did you just say Skibbity Toilet? Yeah, I said Skibbity Toilet. I have to train to defeat him, because he's been terrorizing my family for years. And he said he's gonna take over the world. Oh, I hate that Skibbity Toilet guy. He's always causing havoc. I wish one day someone can defeat him. Well, let me go ahead and let me grab my supplies and okay, we're good to go. All right, Doc, well, what do you think I'll be better? Well, Titan Speaker Man, it may take a few years. What? A few years? But, Doctor, we don't have a few years. Well, I'm sorry, Titan Speaker Woman, but your son got shot by a tank, so you're just gonna have to hold off on defeating Skibbity Toilet for a few years. What? Are you serious right now? Well, can I train at least? Nope, no training is allowed. You're gonna have to wait five years. What? Five years? Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Uh, I can't believe it. Skibbity Toilet's gonna take over the world. Well, hopefully he won't, Titan Speaker Woman. Well, Titan Speaker Man, it seems like you're all good to go. Oh my gosh, all right, Doc. I really wish I could train right now so I can defeat that stupid skippy toilet. I don't like him at all. Yeah, I know you don't like him, but you're just gonna have to wait. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna have to wait literally five years to train. Are you kidding me? Bye-bye now. Good luck. Don't worry, Titan Speaker Man. Everything will turn out okay. Yeah, hopefully it will, Mama. Well, let's go back home and I'm just gonna go straight to bed. Uh. Trust me, Titan Speaker Man. Five years will fly by and you'll be able to defeat him in no time. Yeah, hopefully I will, Mom, because I still have a lot of training to do. Well, I'm just gonna head to bed. All right, good night. Oh, uh, good night. Don, wake up. It's time to start your training. Wait a second, Mom. Today is the day? Today is the day. No way, Mom. I've been waiting so many years just to start my training today. Yes, sir. I cannot wait to defeat Skibbity Toilet. I know. You've been waiting five years just for this day. Yeah, I sure have, Mom. And after you train me, I can literally defeat Skibbity Toilet once and for all. And I'll stop him from taking over the world. Yeah, you sure will. Well, let's go to the training grounds and let's start your training. All right, Mom. Yeah, let's go to the training grounds and I cannot wait to train. <laughs> Skibbity Toilet is going down. And son, here is our training ground. Oh, uh, Mom, we're just gonna be training on this rock right here? No, silly. We're gonna be training all the way up there. What? All the way up here? Are you kidding me? Holy mackerel, Mom. All right. Well, I guess I'll try to go up and whoa. Oh, my gosh. This is so steep, so I just gotta do this real fast, and hopefully I can get up without falling. And come on, come on. Yes, I made it up, but Mom, it is literally so tight up here. Yeah, there's not a lot of room, so we have to be super careful that you don't fall off. Yeah, we sure will. Well, Mom, now that we're up here, can we start my training? please? Yes, of course we can. All right, Mom, well, what are we going to be doing? I'm going to teach you how to fight. So whenever you see Skibbity Toilet, you can take him to the ground. Really, Mom? All right, that sounds awesome. Well, what do we start off with? Well, first, we got to do some stretches, so just follow me. Uh, all right, Mom, and wait, what? How are you even doing that? Oh, my gosh. Here, let me try and, uh, okay, that is not working. Hold on here. Let me try again. And oh, my gosh, Mom, look at me. I'm literally copying you. Hey, you're getting the hang of it. Yeah, I know, Mom. I guess I'm just a fast learner. Yeah, you sure are. Well, we can step it up a notch. Now, we're going to do some jumping jacks. Jumping jacks? Uh, okay, Mom. Well, here, let me try jumping jacks. And, uh, okay, why am I not doing it? Oh, my gosh. Here, let me try it again. Come on, I got it. Yes, sir, Mom. Look at me. Wow, great job. Thanks a lot, Mom. Well, what's next? Well, now I'm going 
going to teach you how to fight. And after that, I'll teach you how to use your sound wave powers. My sound wave powers? Oh, my gosh. Okay, Mom. Well, how do I even fight? Well, you want to put one fist in front of the other, just like this. Uh, all right, Mom. Here, let me try that. And Mom, look at me. I'm literally so good at it. Yes, you sure are. And now it's time to use our sound wave powers. Sound wave powers? Oh, my gosh. And after I learn this, I can literally defeat Skibbity Toilet. Yes, you sure can. And to use your sound wave powers, you have to combine everything and use your speakers. Combine everything and use my speakers? Uh, okay, Mom. Here, let me try this. So let me do my jumping jacks real fast. And let me do some punches. And now I can use my speaker powers. Ow! Wait a second, Mom. Are you all right? Oh, my gosh, Mom. I'm coming down for you. Oh, man. I'm so sorry, Mom. I didn't mean to do it. Oh, oh, oh. I thought I heard you guys somewhere. Wait a second. Skippy Toilet, what are you doing here? Maybe quiet down with those sound waves next time. Oh, Skippy Toilet, I'm not scared of you anymore. I know how to fight. Psh, whatever you say, Titan Speaker, man. Uh, you're going down. Uh, take my sound waves. Uh. <laughs> this is what you get. Oh, that really hurt, but I won't go out without a fight. What? He's back up? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You really think you can fist fight me? Uh, you're going down. Uh, uh, take my punches. Oh, why are you so strong? Yes, I defeated Skippy Toilet. Uh, oh, man. Wait a second. Oh, my gosh, Mom. I forgot all about you. Are you all right? No, I need some help. Bring me to the hospital. Uh, all right, Mom. Here. Crawl over to the tank so we can bring you to the hospital fast. Oh, all right, son. Hurry, quick. Mom, I'm going as fast as I can. Hold on. We're going to make you feel so much better, Mom. Come on, come on. We're at the hospital, so let's go inside. Hey, doctor, hurry. Help my mom fast. She just fell off a huge building. All right, I'm on it. Get to the room. All right, Mom. You're going to be okay. Trust me. Uh, I'm not feeling too good, son. Come on, Mom. Just lay down in that bed. All right, let me get my supplies. Come on, doctor. You got to save my mom. Son, if I don't make it, I just want to let you know I'm proud of you for defeating Skibbity Toilet. Mom, trust me. You're going to make it. Yeah, don't worry. You're going to make it. Don't worry. Just be okay. Be okay. Mom, come on. Make it. Uh, I love you, son. No, Mom. Oh, Titan Speaker, man. I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, boys. Finally, I finished school for the whole entire day. I cannot wait to go home and just chillax. Oh, hey, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, hey there, Speaker Woman. What's going on? Uh, I have a question to ask you. A question? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. What is it? Will you be my boyfriend? What? Will I be your boyfriend? Oh, uh, no. Sorry, Speaker Woman. I'm not looking for a girlfriend right now. What? Are you serious? Oh. Well, I'll get you to love me. Trust me. Oh, uh, okay. Whatever you say. Well, I'll see you later. All right, bye. Uh, boys, that was kind of weird. I didn't really know that speaker woman had a crush on me, but and whatever. I'm just going to head home now. And uh, finally, I'm back home. I cannot wait to go for a swim. I love swimming so much in Tronimo. Oh, uh, hello, speaker man. Can I come and swim with you? Uh, speaker woman, what are you even doing at my house? Uh, I was asking if I could come swim with you. Well, now, I'm sorry. I like to swim by myself. Oh, man. Well, can we hang out, maybe? Uh, honestly, speaker woman, you're kind of weird, but uh, I guess we can hang out just for a little bit. Really? Oh, my gosh. Okay, let me come in. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, you can come in. And speaker woman, what do you even want to do? Huh, let's play a game like truth or dare. What, truth or dare, really? Yep, really, let's go. Oh my gosh, okay. Truth or dare is one of my least favorite games. Well, who wants to go first? Uh, I can go first. All right, well, truth or dare? Uh, dare. Okay, well, I dare you to jump inside of the pool. Okay, that's such an easy dare. Wait, what, you're actually gonna do it? Oh my gosh, no way, no way. Geronimo! No! You just jumped in the pool. Yay, I love the pool. Cool. All right, now it's my turn. Okay, speaker man, truth or dare? Huh, how about a dare? Okay, I dare you to kiss me. Hey, yo, wait. No, 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 no. But you have to do it. It's part of the game. No, no, no. Get out of my house right now. You're creepy. Or just a kiss on the cheek. No, speaker woman. I am not going to kiss you. You're weird. Get out of my house. Come on. I have the biggest crush on you ever. Yeah, I know. it. I don't have a crush on you. Here, get out right now. Or I'm going to force you out. Okay, fine. I'll be back to get your love. All right, whatever you say, speaker woman. And guys, this speaker woman girl is so weird. Weird. She literally scared me to kiss her. Hey guys, honestly, I think I'm gonna have to get my mind off this, so I'm gonna tell my friend TV Man to come over, and hopefully he's able to hang out. Oh, uh, hello, TV Man. Do you want to come over and hang out? No, I'm busy right now. What? Are you serious? You're busy? No, no, no. Please come over right now. Uh, okay, it seems urgent. Well, I'll be over in a few minutes. Oh, all right. Thanks a lot, TV Man. A few moments later. Hey, Speaker Man, I'm here. Oh, TV Man, perfect. Bro, I need to tell you 
about something. Okay, what is it? Well, this girl speaker woman has the biggest crush me ever. And she's super duper creepy, bro. What? How is she creepy? Can people just not have crushes on people nowadays? No, dude. She tried to dare me to kiss her. What? Are you serious? Why were you playing truth or dare? I don't know. I just was. Well, did you kiss her? No, dude. Why would I kiss her? I don't even like her. She's just so crazy. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. Well, do you want to go upstairs and play some video games or something? Yeah, I guess we can, TV man. All right, let's play Black Screen for 24 hours. All right, TV man. Let's play it. And oh my gosh, TV woman, shh, be quiet. He's right there. Wait a second. Uh, do you hear that, TV man? Yeah, I do. It kind of sounds like someone whispering. Yeah, it does. That's kind of weird. Well, uh -huh. I'm going to go check around the house. Maybe someone broke in or something. Uh oh, TV woman, I got to hide. Wait a second. I think I just heard something again. It kind of sounded like a girl. Yeah, I heard it too. Well, let's check every single room and see if the house is clear. And let's see. Wait a second. Speaker woman, what are you doing in my house? Hey, get out of his house. Oh, hey there, speaker man and TV man. Hey there, speaker woman. What are you doing back in my house? I thought I kicked you out. Uh, this is your house? I thought it was my house. Bro, are you serious right now? Speaker woman, this is literally my house. Can you please stop stalking me? Yeah, speaker woman. He doesn't even like you now. Get out of his house. But I have a crush on him. Please. No, speaker woman. Get out right now. Well, at least take my flowers. Uh, no thanks. I do not want your flowers. Here, I'll take your flowers now. Please get out of the house. Um, this is not fair. Oh, well, yeah, it is fair. Because you're a stalker now. Stay out. Man, she sure is crazy. I see what you're saying now. Yeah, you see that? She is literally the craziest person I ever met. Do you have a trash can or something that I can throw these away in? Uh, no, I don't really, but you can chuck it in the fireplace right here. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And now, TV man, let's get back to our game in peace. Wait a second. Do I hear the ice cream truck? Yeah, I think I hear that, too. Hey, free kisses for speaker man. Hey, yo, what? That is not ice cream. And we also have ice cream, too. What is she doing on a hill? I have no idea. Idea, TV man. Hey, speaker woman. What are you doing up there? I don't want your ice cream or kisses. Well, I bought this truck because I know you love ice cream. I mean, yeah, I do, but I don't want your kisses. You know what, speaker man? I'm tired of me giving you my free kisses. How about we marry each other already? Wait, what? Marry each other? No, no, no. I'm not gonna marry you, speaker woman. Oh, yes, you are. Trust me. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, that was super duper weird. Yeah, that was super duper weird. And TV man, I think we should just, like, go outside because she keeps coming back to the house. So let's just go outside and let's go to the stores and stuff. And oh my gosh, okay, that was close. You run this way fast. She literally almost just ran you over, bro. Yeah, I know. Well, let's go to the store over here so we can hide from her. Speaker man, we can hide in the back of the store. She'll never know that we're here. Yeah, that's a good idea, TV man. Here, let's hide straight behind here. And perfect. She will never know that we're here now. Uh, I cannot wait to get food for my wedding. Speaker man is going to love me so much. Wait a second. Are you serious? Speaker woman's right inside of here. She just said she's going to get food for our wedding. What? what? Are you serious right now? She thinks that you're going to marry her. Yeah, I know, dude. This is so bad. We gotta do something about it. Well, we can't blow our cover because she's gonna go crazy again. Yeah, that's true. So I think we're just gonna have to wait it out until she leaves the whole entire store. And after that, we can figure out where the wedding place is and we can ruin it all. Hello, this is all. Thank you. Bye. And wait a second. She just left. We have to follow her to the wedding place fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta follow her fast. Okay, uh, where did she even go? Wait a second. Look over there, Speaker Man. She's in her ice cream shop. Oh, look. There she is. Quick, let's follow her to the wedding place. And Speaker Man, look over there. Oh, I I can't really see what's happening. Here, take my binoculars. All right, thanks a lot. And oh my gosh, TV man, look at her. She's all dressed up. She really thinks that she's gonna marry me right now. Yeah, she even has flowers. Oh yeah, she does. Oh, uh, where's the priest? He should be here any moment. Wait a second, the priest? Isn't that the guy that's supposed to marry people? Yeah, I think he is. And wait a second, look, there he is. What the heck? Skibbity priest is right there. Oh, hello there, speaker woman. Are you ready to get married? Yes, I am so ready. All right, well, where is your husband? Uh, he should be here any moment. What did she say? Any moment? Oh my gosh. I gotta crash this wedding fast but what should I do? Wait a second. The ice cream truck is right there and she is right there. So are you thinking what I'm thinking TV man? Yeah, I think I am. What if you hop in the ice cream truck and run her over? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. So I gotta get out of the binoculars and I gotta sneak over there to the ice cream truck. And once I'm at the ice cream truck, I gotta hop in the front seat. I'm gonna run her over. Okay, okay. So I gotta sneak just like this. And look, there he is. He's arrived. Oh no, she literally just saw me. Uh, hey there guys. Hello there, husband. Oh, is this the person you're gonna get married to? Yes, yes it is. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Priest, but I really do not want to get married to her. She's super duper crazy. What? I thought you guys were dating. What? No, we're not dating. She's been trying to kiss me and marry me all day. What, babe? Stop lying. You know you love me. No, TV woman. I don't like you at all. So do you want to marry this girl or not? No, pastor. I do not want to marry this girl. What, babe? I literally spent 10000 
dollars on this priest. We're getting married. No, we are not getting married. I don't care how much money you spend. And I don't care for anything you do because you're so creepy. Uh, get married to Muriel. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Put that away. And I need my money. Well, ask her for your money. Now, come on, speaker man. Marry this lady already. I really need my money. Yeah, you better marry me. Honestly, guys, I've had enough of this. Speaker woman, I don't know why you have such a big crush on me, but I don't like you at all. And guys, honestly, I'm done. I'm gonna hop in this ice cream truck and I'm gonna run you over. What? You're gonna run me over? Oh no, let me move out the way. Yeah, you heard me crack, speaker woman. Now get ready. Uh oh, I gotta run. Get set. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're gonna get ran over. Get over here right now, speaker woman. Oh my gosh, no! And yes, I ran her over. That's why you get for being creepy and crazy and stuff. I will get married to you in the afterlife. Hey, yo, what the heck? Ah, TV man, this video gave me so much fun. Yeah, but I'm getting pretty hungry, speaker man. Yeah, honestly, now that you say that, I'm getting super hungry as well. Well, do you have any food inside your kitchen? Uh, I'm not really sure here. Let's go see real quick. Well, huh? We got some apples and bananas right here. Do you want that? Uh, no, not really. That doesn't look good to me. Yeah, me neither. Here, let me check the fridge and there's nothing inside. Bro, what are you serious? Oh my gosh. I literally got no good food in my house. Yeah, you don't. You should have gone grocery shopping or something. Yeah, I know, dude. Well, wait a a second that just gave me an idea uh what's your idea speaker man dude what if we literally went to little timmy's store and then we got some food from there you know what speaker man that's a good idea let's just go get some food at little timmy's store yeah dude let's go do it and tv man we made it to little timmy's grocery store so let's go inside and let's see oh hey there little timmy oh hey yeah bros what's going on we were just playing some video games and we got super duper hungry so now we need some food oh okay boats take your time all right thanks little timmy well tv man what do you want oh uh, well i obviously don't want apple and banana because i already didn't want Want that at your house. But look, there are some Doritos. Okay, I'll take these Doritos. Oh, yeah, Doritos are the best gaming snacks. And wait a second. There's pizza as well. No way. Uh, oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna get the pizza and the Doritos. Yeah, me too. And, Speaker Man, are you gonna be paying for this? Oh, uh, wait a second, dude. I thought you were gonna be paying for this. Uh, no, I didn't even bring my wallet. Brian, I didn't even bring mine either. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. Well, we gotta get this food somehow. Yeah, we really do. I'm starving right now. Well, how are we gonna get it? Honestly, I think we just walk out the front door and and, uh, act like we don't have anything. Dude, are you serious? Oh, my gosh. All right, well, hopefully little Timmy doesn't get mad at us. All right, little Timmy. Well, uh, we didn't find anything that we want, so we're gonna walk out of here. Yep, yep. Uh, we haven't found anything. Sorry, little Timmy. Wait a second. Speaker Man, why do you have the windows in your hand? Oh, uh, uh, these? Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man, are you serious? Hey, Timmy Man, and what do you have? Oh, uh, I don't have anything, little Timmy. You can check. Ah, uh, okay. It doesn't seem like you have anything. But Speaker Man, why are you trying to steal? Dude, uh, uh, accidents happen, you know? Uh, you know what? I'm calling the police. You better stay right here. Wait, what? You're calling the police? Oh, my gosh. Why did you have the Doritos out in your hand? Bro, because I was literally hungry. Well, you could have bought them out a little bit later. We didn't even get outside the store yet. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess that's true. I'm sorry. Wee, 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 wee. You guys are under arrest. Wait a second. Who is that? That is not a regular cop. Oh, uh, what the heck? Boys, you are under arrest. Camera, Camera woman. woman. Yep, it is me, and I am a cop. Now, put your hands behind your back, mister. You guys are going to jail. Wait a second, we're actually going to jail? Yep, you shouldn't have so sorry. Wait, what are you serious? Oh my gosh. Well, I can't believe that we just got arrested by Camera Woman. Yeah, me neither, bro. This is crazy. Well, Camera Woman, where are you taking us? I'm taking you to my Camera Woman prison. What, a Camera Woman prison? Yep, and we're almost there. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Hey, dude, I think we should try to escape out of here. Yeah, that's a good idea. We are not going to be in here for long. Well, uh, it seems like we're at the prison now. And you know what? I'm going to make a run for it. Yeah, me too. Hey, no, get back here. Uh, oh, wait a second. What the heck? Did you just tase him? No, speaker man, come over here if you don't want to get tased. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, camera woman. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is probably going to be harder than we think. Now, come on. Get up and walk back over there. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will never try to run away ever again, camera woman. Yeah, you better not. Now, let's go inside. All right, uh, let's just go inside then. All right, well, camera woman, what are we going to do first? Well, first, you got to get your mug shots taken. Are mug shots taken? Oh, my gosh. Hopefully, my mom who doesn't see this. Oh, trust me, your mommy will see it. Bro, are you kidding me? All right, speaker man, say cheese. Oh, cheese. And there you go. Now, TV man, it's your turn. Go sit down. All right, TV man, you're up, dude. Uh, okay. All right, TV man, say hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Aw, so cute. Your moms are going to 
gonna love these photos. Yep, they sure will. Well, camera woman, what do we have lined up for today? Well, first you guys gotta go to your jail cells. Uh, all right. Well, what are we gonna do after that? You guys are gonna sit in there and relax. Wait, what? Are you serious? We aren't gonna have lunch or anything? Well, later you'll have lunch, but you guys gotta sit in there and think about what you did. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, speaker man, how are we supposed to get out of here? Dude, there must be like a secret exit out of here. Maybe like through ventilation system or something. Oh huh, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, let's start looking around for that. Let's see. Is there anything at the roof? And no, there's not. And there's nothing under the bed. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, maybe there's something in the toilet. Well, here, let me step on it real quick. And oh my gosh. I just fell into the toilet. My cheeks are wet now. Oh, speaker man, that's literally disgusting. Well, there's literally no way that we could get out of this jail cell. So you know what? I'm just gonna run to the door and hope something happens. Here we Wait, go. Wait, what? Oh. Bro, are you okay? Oh, well, it doesn't seem like I can break through that door. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, it sure seems like it. Well, it doesn't seem like we're gonna get out of this jail cell anytime soon. So we might as well just sit here forever. Dude, come on, TV man. We gotta keep on trying, bro. I really wanna escape out of Cameron Roman's prison super duper badly. Well then, Speaker Man, how about you find a way to get out of here because I have no more ideas. All right, dude. Well, you know what she said? She said that we're gonna have lunch today. So maybe when it's lunchtime, we can literally distract her and then escape. All right, yeah, that's a good idea, Speaker Man, but I guess we just have to sit here. Yeah, we can yell for her. Hey, Cameron Woman, I'm starving up here. Can we have lunch? Oh, you guys are being such babies. You've only been there for like five minutes. Yeah, I know, but I'm super duper hungry. That's literally why we stole. Yeah, we literally stole from the store because we were super duper hungry, but wait a second. Speaker man, I still have pizza and Doritos. Hey, wait a second. Where'd you get those? Oh, uh, what, 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 what happened? Boys, empty your pockets right now. Uh, all right, well, you kind of stole all my food. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that you just caught my food. Yeah, that's what I thought. Never try to smuggle food in here again. Yum, 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 yum. Wait, what? You're eating his Doritos? Oh my gosh. Hey, Camera Woman, what is lunch? Lunch is in one minute. One minute? I don't think I can wait one minute. Oh my gosh, I want to break down the door again. Bro, what the heck? Oh, wait a second. Uh, how did I just open that? Guys, it's time for lunch. Uh, dude, I'm pretty sure she just opened it. Well, uh, what do we have for lunch today, Camera Police Officer? It's Camera Woman Police Officer to you. Oh, okay. Sorry, Camera Woman Police Officer. Well, we have this really yummy grub. Ew, what in the heck is that? Some toast, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, and green beans. Oh my gosh, this literally looks so disgusting. It's just Thanksgiving leftovers from a little while ago. Bruh, Thanksgiving was so long ago. Well, they're delicious, so eat them. Oh my gosh, all right. But of course, I'm not going to be eating that. I'm going to be eating my Doritos. Oh, well, I guess I'll just eat this. And oh, uh, this is really good. Can I go get seconds? Uh, there should be a little more left. I guess you can. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, Speaker Man. Come on. All right, uh, Camera Woman. I'm going to go with him, too. All right, boys. Don't get into trouble. Yep, we won't. Oh, TV Man, too. Do you think there's a secret exit somewhere back here? Yeah, I think there might be. Let's look around for a vent, huh? Maybe there's something inside of here. Yeah, maybe there's one, huh? There's a whole lot of boxes right here. But there's no boxes on this one. Wait a second. Dude, look right there. There's a vent. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. This is perfect. We can finally escape this prison. No way. This is so awesome. Are you ready, bro? Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, boys, what is taking so long? It shouldn't take that long to get some food. Uh, oh, dude. I think she's on to us. Boys, where are you? Hey, you're not allowed to be back here. This is a restricted area. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, sorry. We thought that the leftover food was in here. Uh, right, Speaker Man? Uh, yeah, yeah, dude. Well, no prisoners are allowed back here. The leftover food is in the food right here. Oh, uh, silly us. Excuse me, man, dude. We're gonna have to come back to this later because I'm pretty sure this is how we can escape. Yeah, me too. Well, uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, let me just grab this extra food again and okay, this is gonna be delicious. Yep, it better be delicious and I'm gonna watch you eat it all. Wait a second. You're gonna watch me eat it all? Uh, well, actually, I'm not that hungry right now. I just wanna save this for later. Nope, nope, nope. You gotta eat it all right now. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. Well, I'm just gonna eat mine right now and ugh, that is so gross. Well, boys, now that you ate so much food, we gotta go outside and burn off some calories. Oh, all right, perfect. I do not wanna eat that food much longer. Yeah, me too, speaker man. Well, dude, let's go outside and, uh, camera woman, what are we gonna be doing out here? You guys are gonna be playing some fun basketball. Some basketball? All right, this is fun. Wow, this is the best thing we've done all day. This is so much fun. Yeah, it really is. Well, here, let me grab the ball real quick and I'm gonna score more hoops than you. All right, yeah, whatever you say. Look at me. I've literally not missed once. Bro, wait, I'm literally missing all mine. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Dude, this is not fun. Well, guys, I'll leave you to it. Oh my gosh. Okay, camera woman. Now that she's gone. You think there may be a way to get out of the prison from the courtyard? Uh, I don't really know, speaker man. The walls are pretty high. Yeah, they sure are, dude. Now that I think about it, I don't think we have a chance at escaping over here. Well, let's see. Maybe we can look around and maybe there's something that we can grab. Wait a second. Look at this. I just got a wrench. Hold on. You found a wrench on the ground? No way. Maybe we could use that to open the vent. And after we open the vent, we can literally escape out of camera woman's prison. Oh my gosh, speaker man. That is a great idea. Well, how about we get 
get going right now before camera woman sees us. All right, yeah, that's a good idea, dude. So come on, speaker man. We have to make a sprint for it. All right, yeah, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going, boys? It's time for your shower. Oh, my gosh, dude. She literally caught us. Uh, camera woman, we were actually running to the shower because we already knew it was time for the shower. Yep, and you guys are so stinky. Get in there. Okay, I'm sorry, camera woman. Dude, she literally just caught us again. Oh, my gosh. I think we should fake having a shower. And then we're going to have to sneak out of here. But I'm pretty sure she's literally guarding the door. You know what, speaker man? We might just have to make a run for it. That is probably our only chance to get out of here. Yeah, it sure is. Well, here, dude. Let me walk out the door real quick. And let me check around the corner. And oh, my gosh, dude. The coast is clear. Okay, speaker man, come on. We have to go. All right, yeah, let's go. Oh, my gosh. So we have to walk into the kitchen in here. All right, let me try to do this right here. Let me get the screw over here. Come on, come on, please. Dude, come on, open it already. And yes, it's open. Quick, get inside. All right, oh, my goodness. We're literally in the ventilation system. Yeah, we sure are. Well, uh, how are we supposed to get out of here? Dude, I have no idea. There are literally so many tiny vents in here. Well, how about we take this vent right here? Let's see if we can get out. All right, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, uh, dude. It literally has brought us to the storage room real here. Let's go check around it real quick and see. Maybe there's a way to get out and no, there's nothing back here. Maybe there's someone over here. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's go see and wait a second. Dude, look at this. There's literally an elevator right here, but we don't even have a key card. Yeah, it seems like we're literally locked out of this. Well, let me see. Maybe I could use my wrench to try to hack it. So let me just turn this just like this and oh my gosh. I opened it. Wait, did he really? No way, bro. Quick speaker, man. Let's go up a floor. All right, yeah, let's go up. And whoa, what is up here? It seems like we're in some type of security room. Yeah, it sure seems like that. Wait a second. Camera woman's right there. She's walking towards us. Oh my gosh, this is bad. Oh, boys, are you done your shower yet? Oh, uh, yeah, we're done our shower. Okay, well, where are you guys? I don't see you. Oh my gosh, speaker man, okay. Let me try to open this door to the outside roof. Come on, dude, open it already. And yes, it's open. Oh my goodness, no way. Hey, what was that noise? Oh no, commencing lockdown. Oh my gosh, TV man. We gotta get out of here fast. But wait a second, she literally locked the gate. Oh no, this is not good. I think I actually just set off an alarm or something. Dude, this is not good. Wait a second. She is right behind us. Hey, boys, what do you think you're doing? Camera woman, we're uh, getting out of here. Oh, get out of here fast. Come on, come on, open up, gate. And oh my gosh, the gate isn't opening up. Hey, I'm coming down. Come on, dude. Open it with the wrench. All right, I'm trying, I'm trying, but it's not working. Uh, I'm gonna body slam into it. And oh my gosh, it's just open. Run. Quick, get out of here. What? No, taser, taser, though. Oh my gosh, I'm falling all the tasers. We gotta go back home. Oh no, I gotta get in my car. Oh, speaker man, this date is going so good. Honestly, I'm really starting to like you. What, you're starting to like me? Oh, honestly. You're pretty funny, so I'm starting to like you too. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this right now. It's like we're a match from heaven. Uh, okay, whatever you say, speaker woman. Well, speaker man, I have a question for you. Oh, uh, okay, what is it? Will you, will you date me? Oh my gosh, speaker man. Wait a second, what the heck? TV woman, what are you doing and here? Now, why are your eyes full of hearts? I am your biggest fan, speaker man. What, you're my fan? Hey, you aren't his biggest fan. Man, I'm his biggest fan. No, I am, Speaker Woman. Oh, uh, no, I am. No, I am. And I'm going to kiss him. Mwah. Whoa, what the heck? Why did you just kiss me? Oh, my goodness, Speaker Man. Are you cheating on me with her? No, I don't even know why she kissed me. Yeah, right. I was a little bit asking if you wanted to date me. You know what? I'm out of here. See ya. Wait, no, Speaker Woman. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. Uh, TV Woman, what is wrong with you? Why would you kiss me directly in front of her? And we aren't even dating her or anything. Well, because I'm your biggest fan. And I will do anything for your love, Speaker Man. I'll even shoot someone. Bro, what the heck? You shoot someone? Oh my goodness, you're literally my crazy fangirl. Yeah, I know I am, Speaker Man. Well, come here and give me another kiss. No, no, no. I'm not gonna give you another kiss. I gotta get rid of you. What? You gotta get rid of me? You can never get rid of me, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, really? I can't. Well, uh, here, trust me. I will by the end of the day. No, Speaker Man. There is no way that you can get rid of me. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Put down the gun. No, I won't. Now go on a date with me. Go on a date with you? Oh my goodness. I really want to get rid of you, though. Oh, man. I guess I'll go on a date with you, but after the date, you have to promise that you'll leave me. Because you literally ruined my relationship with Speaker Woman. Well, Speaker Man, after our date, I'm not going to leave you. Instead, I want to go back to your house. Bro, what? You're going back to my house? What the heck? Now, come on, Speaker Man. Follow me to the date or I'm going to shoot you. What? You're going to shoot me? Oh, my goodness. Well, guys, I guess I have to go on this date with her. Well, trust me. By the end of the day, I'll literally get rid of her. Hey, what are you saying back there, Speaker Man? Uh, nothing. Let's go on the date. And welcome to our date. I can't wait for you to be my boyfriend. What? Be your boyfriend? What the heck? Yes, now go ahead and sit down right now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll sit down. Yeah, that's what I thought, Speaker Man. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that this is happening. TV woman, why are you my crazy fangirl? Because, Speaker Man, I'm just crazy in love with you. And I am your biggest fan. I want to marry you so badly. And trust me, Speaker Man, I will do anything 
for your love. Bro, what? You want to marry me now? You are so crazy. Hello there, guys. Welcome to Brooks Diner. What would you like to eat? Oh, hello there, mister. I would like a cheeseburger, and I want you to get him a love potion. Wait, what? You want him to give me a love potion? All right, a love potion? Oh, uh, yeah, that is on the special today, so I guess I'll get you that. Bro, what? No, no, no. Take that off the list. Are you sure you don't want a love potion? It seems like your girlfriend wants you to drink it. Bro, this isn't even my girlfriend. This is TV woman. She is my crazy fangirl. Well, okay, I'm sorry, miss, but no love potion today. No love potion today? What did you just say to me? Oh, put down the gun, TV woman. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I will get him a love potion. Don't worry. Your cheeseburger is coming right off. Yeah, that's what I thought. And speaker man, when you drink this love potion, you are going to be so in love with me. And I am not going to be your crazy fangirl anymore. I am going to be your girlfriend. Bro, I'll be my girlfriend. Oh, man. What have I gotten myself into? Okay, guys, here is your cheeseburger, and here's the love potion. All right, Pookie Bear, drink up. Uh, honestly, I do not want to drink this. Speaker man, I said drink it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Put down the gun. Hey, lady, put down the gun or I'm calling the cops. No, I'm not going to put it down until Speaker Man drinks the love potion. Well, I'm not going to drink the love potion, so, uh, hey, mister, please call the cops on her. All right, I'm calling the cops right now. What did you just say? Did you say you're calling the cops? Yup, and you're going to get arrested. No, I'm not going to get arrested. I'm getting out of here. Speaker Man, come with me right now. Wait, what the heck? Oh, my goodness, okay. Okay, mister, tell the police man to chase us, please. All right, I will. And, uh, TV woman, where are we going to go? Now we're going to go to your house so I can give you so many kisses, Speaker Man. What? Give me kisses? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. But wait a second. Did you even drink that love potion? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I did. Uh, okay, you better have. And if you didn't, then I'm going to have to use this gun. Uh, okay, well, good thing I drank the love potion. All right, Speaker Man. Well, let's just go back to your house. Come on. All right, uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> TV, well, we're at my house. Yes, finally. Now we can have some alone time, Speaker Man. Uh, okay, well, I'll meet you upstairs. Hey, guys, this is so bad. Hopefully that guy actually called the police on her, and hopefully the police men are going to be here soon. Oh, Speaker Man, where are you? I'm ready to watch some TV. What? Watch some TV? Oh, okay, yeah. And I'm gonna give you so many kisses. Kisses? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll just sit right over here. What, Speaker Man? Sit right next to me. Come on. No, TV woman, I'm not gonna sit next to you. I'm sorry. I said sit next to me. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. I will sit next to you. I'm sorry. And now it's time for me to kiss you. Hello, police, open up. Oh my gosh, the police got here just in time. Um, wait a second. Where are you going? I didn't kiss you yet. Please help me, please. Give me woman is a crazy fat girl. I need you to get rid of her. Man, put the gun down. Uh-uh, okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Policeman. It's not what it seems. I was just about to kiss Speaker Man. Nothing else was gonna happen. Yeah, that's a lie. Because I heard from someone that you're making Speaker Man do stuff what? by threatening him with a gun. What? No, that's not true. Oh, uh, Mr. Policeman, it is true. And right before he got here, you literally pulled the gun on me again. All right, yeah, that's what I thought. You're getting arrested. What? I'm getting arrested? No, hey, let go of me. Yep, this is what you get. Now you're going to jail and you're going to be locked there forever. Wait a second. No, Speaker Man, let me get a kiss before I get arrested, please. No, TV woman, you're a crazy fan girl. And you're going to stay in jail for the rest of your life. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, I will be back. Don't you worry. Wait, what? You'll be back? Yes, I will, Speaker Man. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. That did not sound good at all. I think she's literally going to break out of jail. And honestly, I don't know what to do anymore. I have to get rid of her once and for all, but how? Huh? Let me think. Wait a second. What if I I went to the tank store and I bought a tank and if she came back to me, I could literally run her over. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Maybe after I run her over, then she'll stop being my crazy fangirl. So you know what? I'm gonna head to the tank store right now and I'm gonna purchase a tank. And perfect, I made it to the tank shop. So uh, hey there, mister. I would really like to purchase a tank. Alright, what tank would you like to buy? The green one or the green one? Uh, well, let me think. Well, I think I only see the green one, so how about the green one? Alright, perfect. Well, that will be about $10,000. Wait, what? $10,000? Oh my goodness. Yes, $10,000. What do you expect? I'm giving you a discount. Oh, man. All right. Well, I really need the tank, so I guess I'll buy it. Here you go, mister. All righty. Thanks a lot. The tank is yours. All right. Perfect. Thanks a lot, mister. And guys, now that I have this tank, I can drive it back to my house. And I'm just going to set it up right outside so I can protect myself. So let's go. Wait a second. What the heck? Yes, I finally found a way to escape my jail cell. Now it's time to go back to Speaker Man's house. Wait a second. Uh, hello? TV woman? It is literally me in this tank right behind you. Wait a second, Speaker Man. You have a tank? Yeah, I have a tank. I literally bought this so I can run you over. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. You bought this tank so we could destroy the city together? No, I bought this tank so I can run you over to hopefully make you stop being my crazy fangirl. Why do you want to run me over? Yeah, I sure do. And you know what? I'm going to do it right now. Wait a second, Speaker Man. No. <laughs> this is what you get. Oh my gosh. What happened to me? Oh my goodness. I think it actually worked. Oh, hey there, TV woman. Are you still my crazy fangirl? Oh my gosh. What happened to me? Well, TV woman, you 
you were my crazy fan girl. And you were super in love with me. Oh my goodness, I should have never drank that love potion. That's probably why I was so in love with you. I'm so sorry, speaker man. And wait a second, why do I have these orange clothes on? Uh, because you literally got sent to the prison because you kept pulling guns on me. Oh my gosh, speaker man, I am so sorry. I feel so embarrassed. Well, uh, I'm just gonna go home now. Bye. Uh, see you, TV woman. Well, Pomni, what flavor of ice cream is that? I got bubble gum. Bubble gum? Oh, my goodness. I have the best joke for this. Really? Uh, all right. What is it? Well, Pomni, why can't agents risk eating bubble gum ice cream? Uh, why? Because they can't risk blowing their cover. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. That's so hilarious. Yeah, I know. I'm so funny. Wow, Speaker Man. That was so hilarious. Jack, so are you being sarcastic? Yes, I'm being sarcastic. That was the worst joke I've ever heard in my life. Well, I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, at least someone likes my joke. All right, well, I'm just going to go get my ice cream then. All right, Jax. Uh, Jax is so boring. I don't really like him anymore. Wait, what? You don't like Jax? Isn't he literally your boyfriend? Yeah, but he doesn't know how to have any fun. Oh, uh, what? Are you serious? Yeah, and you can make me laugh, speaker man. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm super duper funny. Well, I was thinking and wondering, do you want to be my new boyfriend? Wait, what the heck? You want me to be your new boyfriend? You're literally cheating on Jax? Yeah, but don't tell him. What, are you serious right now? Um, I cannot believe that this is happening. Happening. You're literally cheating on Jax right behind his back. Shush, speaker man, be quiet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Guys, I got my ice cream. What are you guys talking about? Oh, uh, nothing, Jax. Actually, we were talking about something, and it's very important. It's very important. Uh, okay, what is it? Uh, well, Jax, I like speaker man a lot more than you, so he's gonna be my new boyfriend. Wait a second, what did you just say, Pomni? Uh-oh. So you're cheating on me? Uh, kinda, I guess. Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. I'm sorry, Jax, but I just don't like you anymore. You're not funny like Speaker Man is. Oh my gosh, Pomni! You've really made me mad. Wait a second, Jax. Where are you going? I don't know. I'm going somewhere. Oh my goodness. Okay, Pomni, this is kind of bad. Yeah, it sure is. I didn't expect for him to react like that. Well, how did he really expect him to react? You literally just told him that you're cheating on him. Well, I thought he was going to be like, okay, bye. But he seems super duper upset. Yeah, he sure does. Well, hopefully he doesn't take revenge on us for you cheating. Yeah, I hope he doesn't. Well, Speaker Man, what do you want to do now? Well, Pomni, honestly, I was thinking about going to the pool. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Yeah, I know. Well, here. The pool is right over there, so let's go. And we're gonna have such a blast. Okay, I'll be right there. I just gotta change into my bathing suit. Uh, okay, Pomni. And honestly, guys, I cannot believe that that just happened. Pomni literally just shit on Jax right by his back. And I really hope nothing bad happens. Well, I'm just gonna hop in the pool right now. And Geronimo! Oh, uh, the water feels so nice today. Oh, uh, speaker man, I'm here. Geronimo! Wait, Pomni, what the heck? Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was so much fun. This water's so refreshing. Yeah, it sure is. Well, Pomni, do you want to play a game in here? Yeah, let's play Marco Polo. All right, I'll go first. Okay, my eyes are closed. All right, Pomni, well, I'm going to go right over here. She won't even be able to get me. Okay, Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Uh, Speaker Man, why do you sound like that? Uh, Pomni, that's not me. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, Jax, what are you doing with the sword? Wait, Jax is here? Hey there, Pomni, I can't believe you cheated on me. Oh, uh, hey! there, Jack. I just wanted to let you know that because you cheated on me, you better watch your back. Because I'm getting revenge on you, Pomni, and you are not ready for it. Uh, Jax, put down the sword, please. That's scaring me a bit. No, I'm not gonna put down the sword, and you guys better be prepared. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait a second. What the heck just happened? Pomni, that is super duper creepy. Yeah, it sure. It's Jax is gonna take revenge on us now. Yeah, he sure is. Oh, no. Pomni, this is so bad. I honestly think that we should get out of the pool, and maybe we should go hide in my house. Yeah, that's a good idea, and hopefully he doesn't come there. Uh, yeah, hopefully he does. Well, here, let's go back to the house. Uh, good, quick, get inside my house. But wait a second. What in the heck? It seems like I have a new neighbor. And that neighbor has a castle? That's kind of strange. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, man. Okay. Well, Pomni, mean, let's just go inside my house so we can hide. Yeah, all right. Let's go. Oh, hey there, Pomni. I've been expecting you. What the heck? That's Jax's castle. Yep, and I'm coming in. Wait, wait. No, 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 Jax. You cannot come inside. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? Ah, uh, get this bag off my head. Hey, Jax. 
Yes, where are you taking her? I'm taking her to my castle for revenge. Wait, what? In your castle for revenge? Oh my goodness. Cause this is so bad. Jack's literally just kidnapped Pommy. And I have to save her. Oh man. But I have to somehow get inside of this castle. Oh, wait a second. The front door is literally locked. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. I can't believe this right now. Well, here. I'm gonna have to check all around the house and hopefully there's a way for me to get in. Oh, speaker man, where are you? You're next. Wait a second. You just tell him next. Oh no. This is not good at all. Okay, okay. Well, let me see. Is there any way for me to get in? Oh my goodness. The front door is literally the only way. Oh, speaker man, where are you? Oh my goodness. And Jack's literally just walked out the front door. Okay, okay. Now is my time to run in and he's going inside my house. Oh no. Okay, okay. Well, let's see. Where is Pomni? Huh? Well, she's not in this room and she's not in the living room. Oh my goodness. I really have to fight her quick because if I don't, Jax is literally going to come back and he's going to spot me. Maybe she's upstairs. Oh uh, no, she's not even upstairs. Are you serious? Oh man. Well, I think I saw a basement. So I was going to go downstairs. And maybe she's inside of there. Well, here, let me go down real quick and look. The entrance for the basement is literally right here. Okay, okay. I'm going to go down real quick and oh my goodness, this is so scary. Hey, Pomni, are you here? Yes, I'm down here, Speaker Man. He trapped me in a room. Wait, what? Pomni, quiet down, okay? What room are you even trapped in? I'm trapped in this cell right here. Wait, what? You're literally inside of the cell. Oh my goodness. Are you all right, Pomni? Yeah, I'm all right. It's just kind of cold in here. Well, here, let me try to get her out real quick. And, oh my goodness, the door is literally locked. I can't get you out, Pomni. Oh no, this is so bad. Hey, what is all that ruckus coming from downstairs? Pomni, I think that was just Jax. Okay, okay, I gotta hide real quick. Well, let's see. Is this a good hiding spot? And no, I don't think it is. Well, let me check over here. And oh my goodness, okay, okay. This is the best hiding spot ever. Hey, Pomni, who are you talking to? Oh, I'm just going a little crazy in here, Jack, so I'm talking to myself. All right, Pomni, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you better not get any ideas of escaping here because this is what you get for cheating on me. Oh, don't worry. I love my cell. And Jax, quick question. How did you get a castle this fast? Oh, Kane just teleported this castle here. What? Kane did this? Oh, my gosh. Yep, he sure did. And you're going to be trapped out here forever, Pomni. But I need to go find your friend, Speaker Man, because I don't know where he really went. Well, good luck inside your cell. Oh, Jax, you're so mean. Pomni, I'm literally right here, okay? Well, I'm going to have to try to get you out of here because you're literally stuck in a way in a second. There's literally a humongous axe on the table, so maybe I can use this to open your cell. Wow, well, Speaker Man, you're so smart. Yeah, I know. Well, here, let me grab her real quick. And now I can try to open the door. All right, Pomni, stand back. All right, Speaker Man, get me out of here. All right, Pomni, I'll try. Well, here, let me try real quick. And oh my goodness. I think it's working. Let me see. Ready, set, open, door. And oh my goodness. The door will literally open. You can escape now, Pomni. Yeah, you saved me, Speaker Man. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Mwah. Wait a second, Pomni. What in the heck? Why did he just kiss me? Because, Speaker Man, you're my new boyfriend. Wait a second. What did I just hear? Uh. Oh. There you are, Speaker Man. Get over here. Oh, no, Jax. I'm sorry. Run! You guys are both going to pay for cheating on me, and you know what? I'm locking the door. Oh, no. This is Pat Pomni. We got to find a way out of here. There's no way out of here. You guys are trapped here forever. Ha, 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 ha. Jax, you literally went insane. I know I went insane. You should have never cheated on me, Pomni. But wait a second. Uh, where are you guys going? Pomni, quick, run up these stairs. We got to escape from the room. Well, it seems like that room is locked also. Now, what? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna go back to a dungeon and be a good girl and boy? Or are you gonna meet my sword? Okay, Jax, calm down. I think what we're gonna do is run even more. Yeah, get out of here, Jax. Hey, I can't believe you cheated on me. Oh my gosh, get over here. Bobby, come on. Wait a second. This door is locked too. Why are there so many dead ends in your castle, Jax? You're meeting my sword now. Oh my gosh, run. Oh my gosh, he's literally crazy. Yeah, he sure is. Oh no. Let me use my axe and let me try to chop down the front door. I'm perfect. The door can open now. Oh, my gosh. Run out quick. Wait a second. Where are they going? Hey. How did you open the door? Get over here. Oh, no. He's coming inside of the house. Quick, lock the door. Hey, wait a second. Let me in. No way, Pomni. He literally just escaped out of his castle. That was crazy. Jax, I'm so sorry for cheating on you. But I think that was the best option after seeing what you did. Oh, Pomni, I'm sorry. I'm just really jealous that you cheated on me because you are my one true love. So, you know what, Pomni? Here, I got you these. Will you please be my girlfriend again, please? No, Jax, you literally trapped me inside of a castle. I didn't even know you had a castle. Wait a second. So, you're not going to come back to me? No way. Not in a million years. You know what? I'm done, Pomni. I'm going back to the Amazing Digital Circus, and you're not allowed there anymore. And you can just stay here with your boyfriend, Speaker Man, and me and Kane will be the only ones at the Amazing Digital Circus. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Bye, Jax. And Pomni, now Jax is gone. And I can't believe that you cheated on him.
Oh gosh, I'm literally so bored. There's nothing to do today. Well, maybe one of my friends can actually hang out. Oh, here, let me call up TV Man real fast. And uh, hey there, TV Man buddy, can you hang out? Oh uh, no, I can't hang out today. Sorry. What? You can't hang out? Really? What are you even doing, bro? I'm walking my fish. I'm sorry. Bro, what the heck? You're walking your fish? Uh, yeah. Do you not walk your fish? No, bro. I don't even have a fish. Well, I'm walking my fish. Sorry, bro. Bro, what? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, man. So literally just hung up on me. I cannot believe that that just happened. Well, maybe one of my other friends can hang out. Let me call up cameraman real fast. And uh, hello there, cameraman. Can you hang out with me, buddy, please? Oh, hey there, speaker man. Uh, no, sorry. I'm walking my fish. Bro, what? You're walking your fish as well? Uh, yeah. Are you not walking your fish? It's annual walk your fish day. Bro, what the heck? How did I not know about this? Oh my goodness. Well, have fun walking your fish, I guess, cameraman. Yep, you too. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that that just happened. Both of my friends are literally walking their fish for some reason. Well, you know what? There's only one more person that thinks around. So here, let me call up speaker woman. And uh, hello there, speaker woman. Are you here? Oh, hey, speaker man. What's up? Uh, I was just wondering if you wanted to hang out today because literally all my other friends are walking their fish. Walking their fish? Huh, that's so weird. Yeah, apparently it's National Walk Your Fish Day. And honestly, I didn't even know you could walk your fish. Neither did I. Well, speaker woman, do you want to hang out? Uh, maybe, but my sister's in town, so I'll have to check with her. Uh, all right, yeah, let me know. Hey, speaker girl, do you want to hang out at speaker man's house? Oh my gosh, speaker woman, that would be so amazing. All right, perfect. Well, speaker man, we will be over there soon. Wait a second, you will? Yes, sir. All right. I guess I'll see you guys soon. Yep. See ya, bye. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. Finally, my friends are gonna cure my boredom. And we're here. Wow, that was fast. Uh, hey there, guys. Oh my gosh, speaker man. I have heard so much good things about you. Oh my gosh, you look so hot and so muscular and so tall. I just want to give you a big kiss. Uh, what the heck? Hey, speaker girl, come down. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I was just really excited to see you, speaker man. Oh, uh, yeah, I can tell. Well, speaker man, this is speaker girl, my sister. Oh, well, I guess it's nice to meet you, speaker girl. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too, and I have a huge crush on you. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I could tell. <laughs> well, guys, how about we play a game? Ooh, I love games. What game should we play? Uh, let me see. I think we can play some Super Lario. Okay, that sounds like so much fun. Oh, my gosh. I love Super Lario, and I also love you. Bro, what the heck? Okay. You're getting kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll calm down. Sorry, speaker man. Well, where do you want to sit? Because I want to sit next to you. Bro, what the heck? Uh, okay, I'll just sit right here, I guess. All right, and I'll sit right here. So let's play some Super Lario and I'll let you win every single time because I love you so much. Uh, okay, I think I'll just beat you anyways. Well, guys, let's get started. Yeah, let's do this, guys. Two hours later. Hey, that's not fair. I wouldn't want a speaker girl didn't let you win so many times. Ha, speaker woman, that's what you get. And my boyfriend has won. Wait a second, uh, boyfriend, are you kidding me? I'm not your boyfriend, speaker girl, because we literally just met. Oops, did I just say that out loud? Uh, I'm sorry, speaker man. I just meant to say that you're my friend that's a boy. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, guys, it's getting kind of late, so are you guys gonna go home yet? Uh, I guess we can go home. What? No, speaker woman, I wanna go on a date with speaker man. Wait, you what? You wanna go on a date with me? Yes, I wanna go on a date with you, and I I want you to be my boyfriend. Uh, what the heck? I mean, I guess we can go on a date and see how it goes. But you have been really crazy. Yeah, I know I've been crazy. Crazy in love with you. Bro, what the heck? Now come here and let me give you a kiss. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No kisses yet. We're gonna have to go on a date first. And maybe after that we can kiss, okay? Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Well, I'm gonna go home and let you guys go on your date. And if she gets crazy, call me, speaker man. All right, thanks a lot, speaker woman. And uh, speaker girl, are you ready to go on the date now? Yes, I'm so ready to go on the date, speaker man. Oh. Oh my gosh, and you smell so good. What cologne are you using? Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure that's just my body odor. Oh my gosh, well, you smell so amazing. I want to smell you even more. Bro, what the heck? Okay, okay. Let's just go on the date because you're getting pretty crazy. All right, speaker man, let's go. And welcome to Los Ponchos. This is where we're going to be having our date. Uh, Los Ponchos? Okay, um, this is kind of weird because this restaurant is super low quality, but um, whatever. Anything to make you love me, speaker man. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. This is my favorite taco shop, by the way. Oh, okay, well, I love this place now. Uh, <laughs> All right. Hello, you love birds. Welcome to Los Ponchos. Uh, hey there, Maddie. How are you doing? I'm good. What can I start you guys off with? Um, excuse me. Are you hitting on my boyfriend? Uh, no. I just know Speaker Man. Yeah, she serves me tacos. <sighs> okay, well, can you get us two tacos? And can you please get the food now and stop flirting with my boyfriend? Uh, girl, I was not flirting with your boyfriend. I don't even like Speaker Man. Sorry, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, 
it's all right. Well, I'll go ahead and get you guys your food. Yeah, you better. And speaker man, why is that girl flirting with you? Oh, uh, dude, I do not think that she's flirting with me. She's literally a worker here that's supposed to serve us tacos. Yeah, right. I'm gonna do something about her flirting with you. Wait, uh, what the heck are you gonna do? Hey there, lady, why are you flirting with my boyfriend? Uh, like I said, I am not flirting with your boyfriend. Yeah, sure, lady. Now give us our tacos. What the heck? Uh, what the heck is going on here? Speaker girl, put down the gun. Here, here, take your tacos. Yeah, that's what I thought, lady. Now never try to flirt with my boyfriend ever again. Bruh, speaker girl, she was not trying to flirt with me. Yeah, whatever you say, speaker man, I'll sit down and let's finish up this date because I want to marry you. Oh, okay, you're kind of crazy, not gonna lie. I'm sorry, I'm just crazy in love with you. Yeah, I can tell. Well, here, let's eat our tacos. All right, and oh, these are trash. I mean, uh, no, these are delicious. Oh my gosh, speaker man, we have to go hear more. These are so good. Oh, uh, are you all right? You kind of sound like you're about to throw up. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. Uh, okay, good. Well, I'm actually a little full, speaker man, so I don't really want to eat my tacos. But what I really want to do is go back to your house so I can kiss you. Bro, what the heck? Okay, after this, we're not going back to my house. We're going to go somewhere else. Uh, okay, whatever, speaker man. Well, where are we going to go? Well, maybe we can go to the beach or something because it's kind of relaxing over there. Oh, my gosh. I love the beach. It is so relaxing. Well, how about this? Let's get out of this horrible restaurant and let's go to the beach. Oh. Uh, Okay, well, we kind of have to pay. Speaker man, you are not paying someone that was flirting with you. I am not letting that happen. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just come. I'll, I'm sorry, Maddie. Don't worry, Speaker man. I understand. Now, come on, Speaker man. Let's go to the beach. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go. And now we're at the beach, and oh my goodness. Hello, Timmy. Hey, buddy. Um, wait a second. Who the heck is that? Oh, hey, yeah, bro. What are you doing at the beach? You're never at the beach. Oh, uh, dude, I'm kind of on a date with this crazy girl right here. It is a literal speaker woman's sister. What is speaker? Speaker woman's sister, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious, bro. She is super duper crazy. Oh my gosh, dude, that's super duper bad. Hey, speaker man, stop talking to this little kid and give me more attention. Bro, what? I've been giving attention for like an hour straight. Can I not just talk to my friend for one second? Yeah, waity, can he not talk to me for one second? Um, who do you think you are? You're not the one on this date, little kid. Well, it doesn't matter because speaker man is my friend. Well, we're on a romantic date. And you are literally ruining the date, little kid. Now get out of here. Lady, this is a public beach. Anybody is allowed on this beach, so I'm just going to stay here. All right, guys, calm down. I do not want you guys fighting. No, speaker man, I don't want this little kid on the beach with us. Hey, get off of the beach right now, or I'm calling the cops. Bro, what the heck? Put down the gun. All right, lady, all right, lady, I'm sorry. I will get off of the beach. I'm sorry, okay? Speaker man, I'll see you later. All right, yeah, see you little Timmy and us, speaker girl. You did not have to do that. But speaker man, he was not leaving the beach, and I want to have a romantic date. Like, look at this. There's literally a fire just for us. Whoa, where did that even come from? What the heck? And there's also a cool are full of drinks. I think that little kid left them here. Yeah, me too. Well, speaker girl, honestly, you literally just disrespected one of my best friends, so I don't think this is gonna work out. Wait a second. You don't think this is gonna work out? What does that mean? Oh, uh, I mean like me and you. I don't think it's gonna work out. But speaker man, it has to work out. You are my one true love, and I just wanna give you a big kiss. Ew, no, no, no. Do not kiss me, please. Speaker man, we are not ending this date. Bro, what the heck? Okay, okay. We can still go to the date, okay? Yeah, that's what I thought, speaker man. And look at your arms. Oh my gosh, they're so muscular. Okay, okay, here, get away. I do not want to kiss right now. I wasn't gonna kiss you, silly. I was just feeling your muscles. Well, let's go ahead and let's grab a sandwich. Let's just sit down and have a romantic date. Come on. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna finish this taco from earlier. Wait a second. You brought the taco from that other place. Oh my gosh, that's so disgusting of you, Speaker Man. Uh, no, it's not. It's my favorite taco. Well, honestly, Speaker Man, this is boring. Let's go back to your house or something. Uh, no, I don't think we can go back to my house. How about we go to, like, the pool? Go to the pool? Are you serious, Speaker Man? I just want to go to your house. No, I'm sorry. Let's go to the pool. Why? But the pool is literally so boring. Honestly, it's the most fun thing around here. Well, let's go. And speaker girl, now we're at the pool, so let's go swim. All right, speaker man, and I'm gonna go on the slide. Oh, uh, all right. Oh, uh, this slide is so high. I'm so scared. Wait a second. There's a little girl up there. Hey, little girl, what are you doing up here? It is my turn to go on the slide. Uh, no, it's not. I'm just deciding if I should go on the slide. I'm really scared. Well, don't be scared. Go down. Ah! What the heck, Speaker Girl? You literally pushed her down. Yeah, I know I did, Speaker Man. She was taking too long. Hey, that was so mean, and I can't swim. Help me. Wait, what? She can't swim? Hey, girl. Come on, you can swim, please. Look, I'll help you. Go to the other side. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, thank you so much, mister. And the girl you're with is so mean and ugly. Hey, what did you just say to me, little girl? I said you're so mean and ugly. Well, guys, calm down. No, Speaker Man, be quiet. Everyone's been trying to flirt with you lately, and I'm the only one that's allowed to flirt with you. Bro, what? She's literally like a five-year-old girl. Uh, actually, I'm five and a half. Well, little five and a half girl, you're going back to the pool. Hey, no! Ah! Stop! 
stop pushing her in the pool. She can't swim. Yeah, I can't swim. You're so mean. Yeah, whatever. All right, Missy, I'm going to call the cops on no, you. No, Daddy, this girl's being so mean to me. She pushed me in the pool. Please arrest her. Oh, no, Speaker Man. Uh, this is not good. Yeah, you really should not have pushed her in the pool because her dad's a police officer. Well, uh, how about we get out of here, Speaker Man? Come on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Run. And maybe we could go back to your house so I can kiss you. No, what the heck? We're going to hide inside my house. Let's go. And phew, we made it inside of the house. Yeah, Speaker Man, and now we're inside of the house so I can finally kiss you. Oh, my gosh, you are so strong and so muscly and so cute and so hot. Oh, uh, Speaker Girl, I really do not want to kiss. Come here, Speaker Man. I'm going to kiss you. No, no, no. Please do not kiss me. Knock, knock, knock. Police. Wait a second. The police are at my house. Oh, no, Speaker Man. This is not good. I have to hide. What? You're hiding? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Well, I have to answer the door since it's a policeman. And hey there, Mr. Policeman. Hello there. Is Speaker Girl here? Uh, no. Speaker Girl, no. I don't think she is. Are you telling the truth or are you lying? Uh, yeah. I'm telling the truth. Well, you're going to get arrested if you're lying. Oh, uh, okay, okay. She's literally upstairs on the toilet right now. All right. Thank you so much. She's under arrest. Uh, okay, good. Thank you. She is super duper crazy. Oh, Speaker Girl, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm here to arrest you for pushing my daughter in the pool. Wait a second. You're arresting me? Hey, no. Speaker Man, save me with your muscles. Speaker Girl, I can't do anything. You literally got yourself into this situation. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. I just wanted your love because you're so hot and so strong and so beautiful. Yeah, I know I am, but you're a crazy person, so I do not like you. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. Well, I'll be back to get your love. Don't worry. Yeah, right. I'll see you never. Guys, Speaker Woman's sister was so crazy, but now she got arrested, so I'm never going to see her ever again. Oh, gosh, I literally had the craziest dream last night. I had a dream that I had a Speaker Man family. Well, good thing it's not real because I cannot deal with a family. Like, imagine if I had a baby and a wife and stuff. That would be so terrible. Well, here, let me go get my breakfast real fast. Oh, good morning, honey. I got your breakfast already. Wait, what the heck? Who are you? Speaker Man, I'm your wife. Huh? You're my wife? What do you mean? We've been married for five years. Five years? Huh? I don't even know you. Wait a second. Who is that? Oh, hey, yo, daddy. That's Speaker Junior. Speaker Junior? Is that my son? Yes, I'm your son do not remember me daddy uh no i don't even know who the heck you are oh <laughs> uh, wait a second where are you going son Speaker man what's going on with you uh nothing's going on with me what's going on with you guys did he break into my house what no this is our house it's not just your house yeah dad we literally live here oh uh, honestly guys i don't care if you think you live here but i need you out of my house right now Speaker man calm down no i'm not gonna calm down i have no idea who you guys are so get out how about you just come over here and eat some breakfast with me and we can figure out what's going on. Oh my gosh, all right. Daddy, I don't like you anymore. I'm gonna cause havoc to the city. Wait, what the heck, son? You're gonna cause havoc to the city? Yes, Daddy. You're super duper mean. You made me cry. What? No, 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 son. Do not cause havoc to the city. Too bad, Dad. Bye. I'm going on on my own life. Wait, what the heck? No, son. Get back here. What the heck just happened? Speaker Man, what have you done? Oh, I guess Speaker Junior's out to cause havoc to the whole entire city and live his own life. Oh, no. This is so terrible. We have to go get him. What? I don't even know who the heck he is. He is your son, Speaker Man. He is my son. Oh, my goodness. Oh, guys, this has literally been the weirdest day ever. I just woke up and apparently I have a Speaker Man family. And apparently I have a son that's going to cause havoc to the whole entire city now. So, you know what? Speaker Wife, I guess I'll help you. All right, good. We have to stop him. Yeah, we sure do. Oh, Speaker Wife, let's go. No, come on. We got to take the car. Wait, what? Take the car? Yeah, the car. Come on. Oh, uh, what the heck? I never knew that I had this car. What? What do you mean? We got it on our anniversary. What? We got it on our anniversary? Yeah, we did. Whatever. We just got to go and find Junior. Uh, all right, yeah. Here, let's go find Junior. All right, Speaker Woman. Well, what do you think our son Junior would be? Well, maybe he could be at the bank. He really likes his money. What? He likes money? Are you serious? Yep, he's just like you. Uh, all right, wait a second. I could have sworn I just saw him walk upstairs. So let me just do this until we go down with all the money. Wait a second. Did you see that? I swore I just saw an explosion. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> There's smoke. Oh, my gosh. This is bad. Speaker one, stay right there. Oh, uh, hello, Junior. Are you inside of the vault? Oh, look who it is. It's my daddy. Junior, what the heck? You exploded the whole entire Brookhaven vault and stole money? Yep, I sure did because you don't want to be my daddy anymore. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Son, please return the money. And I'll go back and be your daddy, okay? I do not want anything bad to happen. No, daddy. You made me cry, and I'm stealing your car now. Wait, what the heck? You're stealing my car? Hey, <laughs> I'm going to be a millionaire. Junior, come back here. Oh, my gosh. Speaker one, this is so bad. He just 
robbed a bank that stole my car. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that this is happening right now. Our son is causing so much havoc. Yeah, he is, but he's probably going to cause even more, so we got to stop him. Yeah, we sure do. Well, let's figure out where he is so we can stop him. Meanwhile. Ah, uh, yes, I made it to the ice cream store. And now it's time to rob it. <laughs> hello there, man. Oh, hello there. Wait a second. Are you Speakle Man's son? Ah, uh, yes, I'm Speakle Man's son. And I'm here to rob your store. Oh my gosh, bro. You're here to rob my store? Okay, okay. Take all my money. No, I don't want your money. I want your ice cream. Now, give me ice cream right now. Oh, okay, bro. Okay. Here you go. Take all the ice cream. Take all the ice cream. Mm, yummy. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. That guy's so crazy. I need to call Speakle Man right now. Oh, TV woman. We've literally been searching around the whole entire bro cave, but we still can't even find Junior. I know. We've been searching for like an hour. Yeah, we sure have. Wait a second. I'm getting a phone call. Uh, hello? Who is this? Hey, Speakle Man. It's little Timmy. Your son literally just came into the ice cream store and robbed it. He literally took all my ice cream. Wait a second. Second, little Timmy. My son robbed your ice cream store? Yes, he did. And I need you to get over here fast. He's about to leave. He's about to leave? No way. Oh, my goodness, TV woman. Junior is at the ice cream store and he just robbed it. Oh, my gosh. He's going to be in so much trouble. Yeah, here, quick. Let's run to the ice cream store. Wait a second. Look, there's our car. <laughs> Wait a second. He's in the car. Oh, my gosh. He's so tiny. I didn't even see him. Yeah, me neither. Junior, get back here. I robbed the ice cream store and I'm going to lock myself inside of the house now. Wait, what? You're going to lock? your Simon's out of the house? No, wait, Junior, get back here. Ha <laughs> ha, I get to eat my ice cream in peace. You are being such a bad boy. Junior, come on. What is in the house? Yo, Daddy, this is my house now. Ha <laughs> ha, and you are not allowed to come in. Bro, what the heck? Where did he even get that gun from? Oh, I just went to the gun store. And look at this. I get to eat all the ice cream I want. Sugar rush. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Speaker woman, what are we going to do now? I don't know, but we have to find a way inside the house. He has a sugar rush. Yeah, he sure does, but well, let's see. Wait a second. The garage is literally open. Oh, well, that was super easy. Yeah, it sure was. Well, let's go inside. And Junior, we're here to stop your sugar rush. Wait a second. How did you get in here, Daddy? You left the garage open, you silly goose. Oh, my gosh. You guys got me. Now, give me your ice cream. Yeah, and you're going in a timeout. Oh, uh, guys, I already finished the ice cream. And I am not going in a timeout, Daddy. I am leaving. Wait, what? Oh, my gosh. Put that gun down. Oh, my gosh, Junior. Don't shoot that gun in the house. Yeah, listen to your mom, son. Hey, hey, I'm running away again. No. no, get back here, son. No, you are not. Come here. And I'm going to run into the Starbrooks and I'm going to destroy the car. Wait, what? No, no, no. Did I destroy that car? Oh, my goodness. This day is literally so crazy. Come on, Speaker Man. We got to stop him. Yeah, we sure do. He's so close to Starbrook. <laughs> No, son, stop it. Oh, my goodness. I have destroyed the car. Junior, stop it right now. Yeah, Junior, honestly, I don't think you deserve a timeout. I think you deserve jail time. I don't want to hear it from you, Daddy. You literally said that you don't like me. Well, yeah, and this is why. Because you're crazy, and plus, I didn't even want a family. It was just a dream. Well, you know what, Daddy? I'm not going to jail. Oh, uh, yes, you are, son. Hey, wait a second. Put me down, Daddy. Oh, my gosh, I just pooped in my diaper. Oh, that is so gross. Okay, well, I guess the police officers are going to have to deal with that. No, Daddy, don't. Don't take me to jail. You have to learn from your consequences. No, Daddy. I don't want to go to jail. I'm sorry, son. Well, Mr. Policeman, I would like to turn in my son. He's approximately like one years old and he poops himself. And he robbed the bank and he robbed the ice cream store. All right, we'll take him in. Oh, it was that easy? Oh, okay. Here we go. Hey, put me down, old man. <laughs> I'm sorry, son, but you have to learn for your consequences. And maybe if you become a nice baby, then you can get out of jail. And here is your jail cell. You are going to be here for the rest of your life. Wait a second. The rest of my life? I'm literally one years old. Bro, policeman, no. We can just keep in here until he learns his consequences. Well, he robbed the bank and he robbed the ice cream store, so that means he has to be in here for life. Sorry. Bro, what? Are you serious? You should have never turned him in. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. Well, son, honestly, I'm sorry, but it seems like you're going to have to stay in here for the rest of your life. No, daddy. I don't want to. Well, guys, I guess that's the last time I'm ever going to see my son ever again. Well, now I can just go back to my house and chill. Uh, Dad, I literally just escaped. Wait, what the heck? You escaped? Yes, now don't tell the police officer. But there was a vent inside of the jail cell and I jumped through. Oh, my goodness. Why would they put a vent inside of a baby jail cell? I cannot believe it. Well, Daddy, to get revenge on the police station, I am going to run them over with a tank. Huh, a tank? Where are you even going to get a tank from? Oh, I'm going to go get it from Skibbity Toilet. What? Skibbity Toilet? No way. Oh, my gosh. Son, get back here. I'm not going to allow you to 
gonna buy a tank from Skippy Tool, I'm gonna follow you. No, you're not, Daddy. You can't find me. Oh, uh, son, I literally see you right there. You're hiding behind that thing holding up the sign. Oh, man, whatever, Daddy. Well, I guess you can follow me. Come on. No, son, I did not want you buying that tank from Skippy Toilet. Well, too bad, Daddy. You can follow me and watch me buy it. No, son, do not buy it. Nope, I'm going to. Bro, are you serious? Oh, my goodness. Hello, there, Skippy Toilet. Hello there. Do you have the money? Yes, I have the money, Skippy Toilet. Here you go. All right, this is your tank. All right, thank you so much, Skippy Toilet. And, Dad, get away. Not of my watch, Junior. Hey, get back here. I am going to run over the police station. No, Junior, come on. Stop the tank. Oh, no, this is so bad. I gotta get to the police station fast so I can stop Junior. Get Mr. Policeman, quick. Watch out, a tank's gonna ram into this place at any moment. Oh, no, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, quick, run. And now it's time to destroy the police station. Oh, my goodness. Who the heck is driving that thing? My son is driving that thing. You should have never arrested me, policeman. Now take this. What the heck is that? He just shot at the building. What the heck? Hey, son, stop it. No, Daddy, I will never stop. And you know what? You have been so mean to me. So now it's time to get revenge. Wait, what? Oh, no, no. Put that gun down, son. Any last words, Daddy? Yeah, police, man. Arrest him. All right, hey, get over here. No, you're not going to arrest me. Take this. Oh, my gosh. What? You just shot the police officer. Yep, I sure did, Daddy. And all today, you're being super mean to me. You literally made me cry. And you made me so sad, Daddy. So now it's time for my revenge. Wait, what? Uh, what is your revenge, son? Hey, put down the gun. Hasta la vista, baby. Ah! Oh, where am I? Oh, my gosh, guys. I just had the weirdest dream of my life. And the dream was that I woke up from my dream and that I had a family. And I had a super crazy baby. And me and my wife tried to stop him and then I got shot. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that that just happened. Well, I'm going to go downstairs and get some breakfast. Wait a second. What the heck? Oh, good morning, boys. Today is going to be such a great day. Wait a second. Oh, my gosh. Why do I have bad hair today? I literally got to get this going. and I can't do anything about it. So, here, the bus should be outside any second now. Wait a second. Where even is the bus? Are you kidding me? Oh, wait a second. There's the bus. Wait, what? Hey, bus, stop. Why are you running away? Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me right now? The bus literally drove past me. Oh, my goodness. I'm having such a bad day today. It's going to get even worse when I get to school because I have the biggest math test of the year. And I didn't even study, so I'm probably gonna fail this. But let's go to school, and hopefully I don't fail. And perfect, I made a class just in time. And you're late to class. Wait a second, teacher. I'm late for class? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. The test already ended, and you missed it. What? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I am having the worst day ever. Oh, what happened to me? I feel weird, and I look weird. Wait a second. Am I Dark Speaker Man? <laughs> oh, this actually feel super duper good. Well, let me go out here and, uh, hey, guys, and, uh, hey, TV woman. Speaker man, you look different today. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I have a question for you. Uh, do you want to be my girlfriend? Uh, no, thank you. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Uh, get over here, TV woman. Tight speaker man, you're scaring me. Yeah, you better be scared. Come here. Hey, tight speaker man, what do you think you're doing? Uh, shut up, teacher. Oh. <laughs> That's why you don't mess with me. Hey, TV woman, where did he just go? Uh, nowhere. I know you're in this room somewhere. Come out wherever you are. Oh, my gosh. He's so scary. Hey, TV woman. You should have accepted me to be your boyfriend. Because now I'm angry. Ah, teacher, help me. Oh, he can't help you. He's already down the ground. I'll be my girlfriend or else. No, I won't be your girlfriend. Bye. Wait, what? Are you serious? No. Oh, my gosh. I expected that to work, but that just made me even more angry. And you know what? I'm going to take out my whole entire anger on the whole entire town. And I'm going to cause so much havoc on all the people. So, huh, what should I terrorize first? Hmm. Maybe I can go to the grocery store and terrorize everyone there and steal a lot of food. Yeah, that's a great idea. And hello, grocery store worker. I would like every single piece of food in this whole entire store. Um, sir, you're actually not allowed to do that. You're gonna have to pay for all of it. Oh, really? Uh, yes, really. Nothing in here is free. Well, now it is. Take this. Ah, Sonic Boom! Yeah, that's what I thought, boy. So, guys, now I can literally steal every single piece of food in here. And, oh, look, ice cream, yummy. And let me grab some pizza. And even more Doritos. And finally, top it off some Coca-Cola. And you vegetables. I do not like vegetables. And thanks a lot, Mr. Skibbity Worker. Hey, get back here. Uh, yeah, come get me if you even can. And, guys, that was only the first place I caused havoc to. But I'm going to be calling.
causing havoc to so many more people and places because I am Dark Speaker Man. And oh, look, the police station's right here. Okay. I'm gonna go inside and cause havoc on all the police officers. And hey there, Mr. Policeman. Oh, hello there. Do you have something to report? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna be causing havoc all day and you can't do anything about it. Uh, you're gonna be causing havoc all day? Uh, I don't think so. Wait, what? Uh, what do you mean? Sir, you're under arrest. What? Are you serious right now? Oh, my gosh. What did I expect by going into a police station? I'll go into your jail cell, mister. Come on. Okay, Mr. Policeman. I'm sorry for my actions. Why would you ever come into a police station and admit that you're gonna cause havoc on the city? Well, because I'm just speaking facts. I already caused so much havoc. I stole all of this food right here. And after I escape out of here somehow, I'm gonna cause even more havoc. All right, whatever you say. You're not gonna be able to escape out of there. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna prove that guy wrong. And after I get out of here, I'm gonna cause so much havoc. Okay. Well, here, maybe under this bed, it has a secret hole in. No, wait a second. There is a literal vent right here, so maybe I can hop inside and whoa. I just hopped inside of the vent and now I can escape. Look right here. Yes, sir, I'm out. And uh, hey, Mr. Policeman, you can't get me. Wait a second, how do you escape? Ha <laughs> ha, take the L. Hey, get back here. Well, guys, now it seems like the police are after me. But whatever, now it's time to cause even more havoc. And oh, the car dealership. And whoa, look at that car right there. That looks so awesome. And uh, hey there, Mr. Car Person. I would have liked to purchase that car out there for free. What, for free? Are you serious? Uh, that car is not for free. That car is literally like $5 million. $5 mil? <laughs> I don't care about that, mister. Give me the keys right now or else. Uh, no, I'm not going to give you the keys, sir. Are you okay in the head? Yeah, I am. I said or else. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, don't activate your speakers now. Let me go ahead and let me grab the car keys. All right, you better. And sir, get out of my car dealership. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. You're done for, kid. Ugh. Oh, man. No. <laughs> now I can just take the keys for myself. And I am going to steal this $5 million car. Yes, sir. I look so awesome in this car. Thanks a lot. And guys, now that I have this car, maybe I can like, get some girls' phone numbers and stuff. So, uh -huh, let's see. Where are all the girls at? Wait a second. Oh, hey there, ladies. Uh, hello. Who are you? I'm Dark Speaker Man. Now, do you guys like my car? I mean, it's a pretty nice car. Yeah, but I'm not really a gold digger. What? Are you serious? Well, how about you? Are you a gold Digger. Uh, no, it looks cool, but I don't care about it. I'm gonna get a quick picture with what? him. What? No, no, no. Are you serious? Come on, ladies. If you want a picture with my car, you're gonna have to be my girlfriend. Sorry, but you're not my type. What? Are you serious right now? Yeah, and I have a boyfriend. What? Oh, my gosh. How did I just get double rejected? Well, you know what? I'm gonna go follow these guys back, and I'm gonna get them to be my girlfriend. And, oh, look, they literally just walked straight inside of their house. So, you know what? Well, let me go ask them out. Hello, guys. Can I be your boyfriend, please? Oh, my gosh. That boy's outside of our house. Ew, no. Get away. Wait, what? Are you serious right now? Ugh. I am not a creepy stalker. Oh my gosh. These <laughs> girls are so mean. You know what? I'm gonna cause havoc to them. I'm gonna burn down their whole entire house. So let me go sneak into their backyard real fast. And oh, perfect. They have a girl right here. So let me turn this on. And now let me crank it up to max temperature. <laughs> and any second now, her whole entire house should burn down into flames. Oh my gosh, there's a fire. <laughs> now my plan is working. Oh my gosh, get out of the house fast. <laughs> this is what you girls get. Oh my gosh, you are a psycho! Why did you follow us all the way to our house just to burn it down? Well, because I wanted you guys to be my girlfriends, but you've rejected me, so this is why you get it. Huh, I'm calling the police, and they'll be here any moment. Wait, what? Uh-oh. I gotta get out of here. See ya. Guys, this is bad. I think the police are still after me, so I gotta keep causing havoc, and hopefully I don't get arrested by the end of the day. And, ooh, the bank. Okay, I'm gonna rob this, and right after I rob this, I'm gonna go back home and hide from the police. And now, hey there, bank skibbity. Oh, hello there. Would you like to take out some money from the bank? Uh, yes. I would like all of your money. What? You could all take all of my money. Hey. Oh, too bad. You see this? If you don't give me all of your money, then I will use this on you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. I'll give you all of the money. Follow me upstairs. Yeah, that's what I thought. And now, Banks, give me open the vault for me. Okay, sir. I'm on it. And here you go. Here's all your money. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. Thanks a lot. Well, now I can get out of this room. Wait a second. Why am I stuck in this room? Police, you're under arrest. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. You caught me in the act. Ha, ha, ha. I finally caught you. Now you're coming back to jail with me. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Mr. Policeman. And thanks, Skibbity. Thank you so much for calling us. Well, come on, Titan Speaker Man. We're getting out of here. Uh, all right, Mr. Policeman. Now follow me inside of the prison. You were already here once before. You know what to do. Yeah, I know. I gotta go to jail. And this time, I'm not putting you in that jail, so I'm putting you in this one. What? Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. And now you will be in here for the rest of your life, and there's no way to escape out of here. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Your evil antics are over, Titan Speaker Man. So now it's time to turn back into yourself. Whoa, wait, what are you doing? I want to be dark forever. 